Yo, 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 what's up, guys? Thank y'all for joining us today. It is Rejects in the Booth today, guys. It's the sports nah, show. The nah, 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 sports show. Nah, 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 nah. It is. Hey, hey, hey. LeBron. Goodbye. Take like it with me now. I like that. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, my God. Nah, 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 nah. nah, nah. Hey, hey, hey. LeBron. LeBron. Goodbye. Goodbye. I like that. That's a good setup. That's a good setup. Let's do it. That's fair enough. Yes, you guys, of course. (laughs) Now, we won't be diving into NBA just yet, but we had to do that just because obviously everyone Mm -hmm. knows LeBron's not in the playoffs anymore. For the first time since 2010. Since 2010, for the first time, the NBA Finals will not have Steph Curry or LeBron James. I'm more happy about the second. Me too. I I agree. Yes. So, before we get into all the NBA stuff, let's get into that some boxing really stuff. Condom champion. Sorry. Just because we know Mayweather <laughs> is going to be fighting Jake Paul, Logan Paul, apologize. Logan. All the Pauls are the same way. What are the Paul brothers? Many of them. One of the freaks. They will be. One of those uh, blonde hair guys. They're yeah. boxing. They just mm-hmm. had their weigh in. Obviously, Mayweather's weighing at 155 pounds. Mm-hmm. Jake, oh my gosh, the Paul brother is weighing in at 189 pounds. Mm-hmm. Now, actually, before we get into that, eight rounds. Five hmm. minutes, three three minutes apiece. No. What? Hi, everybody. Welcome to Reject in the Booth. I am Dark RJ. He did, oh, did kind of... Thank oh, you. Let's get through. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, my bad. Okay, so introduction. Hey, hey, I'm introduce LeBron. Yourself. Yes, thank introduce you. yourself. Thank guys. you, Director, Go ahead. My for apologies. introducing yourself, oh, Director, because, you know, there's a bunch of LeBron haters here. I didn't get my introduction. I like to say this you. is Zach the Mac on the attack this show because oh, I'm defending the attack. Him myself, like that. Okay? Okay. All right. Okay. And I just want to say thank you guys for listening to the show. It's really awesome. <laughs> <laughs> we love you guys. All right. Yeah. Uh, pass it off to SG3. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Me, it's me, it's SG3. It's me, it's me, it's SG3. You got a little fans, too. It's me, it's me, SG3. Just going to say one more time. And then at the end of the day, I'm also going to be making fun of LeBron because LeBron is 14 and 1 in the first round. Notice it's 1. Hey, the, you know what, no. <laughs> yes. Is it perfect? No, it's not. Okay. No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's good. That's true. All right, guys. Well, again, this is me, Tony the Kid. Thank you all for joining us today on the episode of Rejects in the Booth. Thank now, you. like I said, getting into the boxing. Obviously, we talked about that SG3. What do you think about the Mayweather versus Paul? Does the weight make a difference? I told you before, I'm going to tell you again. Paul's going to walk through the punches. Yeah. He's going to walk through the punches? Okay. You said Paul's going to walk through the punches? Yeah, dude. I mean, look, you got a 20 pound. You got a 20. Mm-hmm. Holyfield goes down. <laughs> listen, <laughs> man, listen, stop it. Stop <laughs> it, man. Pay attention, man. No one cares about it. If you were going to be at the you show, it, you need to pay attention, man. I'm sorry, man. Tell that. Look at me. Right. Yeah. Oh, look at me, man. Look at me, man. I'm over here rubbing myself against the chip. I need you. It's like as if he has a cologne as a chip. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 man. Man. Stop rubbing yourself, man. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna be a tough show, guys. Stay tuned. So run so, through. <laughs> Got to issue through. Okay. So run through. He's gonna walk through. Worst. Listen, this is best case scenario. Mayweather balloons fifty pounds between yesterday and today. Mm. You mean between today and tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. Basically, because it's already midnight. Between yesterday and today, and finally decides to knock the kid out. The kid doesn't gain a single pound. Gotcha. But in reality, world Mayweather's not gonna balloon up, and this kid's gonna balloon up at least another ten pounds. He's mm-hmm. gonna walk right through. It's just gonna. Honestly, we're paying to see an on live boxing school. Right. That's literally what he's gonna literally look at him and say, "No, you're throwing the wrong way. I need you to jab." Yeah. There you go. You see, now you jab. Now let me jab you back. Literally. Got you. Okay. Jack the Mac. Does the weight make a difference? Yes. It makes a difference, and I would imagine that it favors um, it, Mayweather. Who, who's coming in heavier? Paul. Heavier, Paul. Okay, Paul's coming in heavier. 189, Mayweather's 155. <sighs> okay, I, yeah, I, I, I can see uh, <clears throat> at this point. I guess he'll walk through him, but I mean, he's not going to last very long in walking mm-hmm. through him. Okay. Yeah, but he'll eat him. He'll probably eat him like some Skittles, as a kid said. <laughs> but then he's going to be like, oh, this is freaking Mayweather Skittles. Though. So we'll go. see how long it lasts, I guess. Okay. Do I drive, Jay? What do you, you think? Attention. <laughs> okay. So, after watching an epic knockout from um, Redding Bow to Evander Holyfield, mm-hmm. part three, you're right, if you guys want to see real Right now, we're on Nassim Ham- Prince Nassim Hamid versus Kevin Kelly. So, that's why I need you to focus. <laughs> Take you. I'm focusing. I'm trying to teach people of real boxing. Oh. Not okay. crap that's coming up on crap show 
on a good day. Well, so at this point, though, can you we can say it's we can say it's crap, but I mean in this reality and this day and age, who's actually yeah. fighting? So, okay, okay. <laughs> Does weight matter? Not really, because all he knocked out people that were heavier than him in the mm-hmm. ring. But again, though, he's a heavyweight, John. This so, man is a middleweight. Yeah, he's true. fighting a cruiserweight. <laughs> there you go. And they're not going to be really boxing, though. There's no uh, record in this. Or anything, right? There's no. There's no record. There's no. So basically, the what it is is there's no ref. Excuse me. There is no. There's no judges. Mm-hmm. There is, but there is stoppage. Mm-hmm. Okay. So there is no judges. There is no winner at the end. Basically, he's going to say, "All right, guys. You know, hey, thank you for watching. Thank you for you know, basically." Watching Floyd teach Paul how to how to how to box. We appreciate you for paying this much money for 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 watching this. Um, so yeah, look, no winner or judges. KO's allowed. Eight three minute rounds. Twelve ounce gloves. No headgear. One hundred ninety pound weight limit for Paul. They, like I think I I think I commented on this in uh you know the Rejects rundown chat is that they just want to see somebody fall. That's it. There's the yeah. rules are literally circled around either somebody's gonna fall. Hopefully a TKO, but I, I, I mean it's not even there's no knockout, so it's not a KO, right? So that's true. you just want to point, just pay for somebody's knuckles to buckle. Like at this point, basically, it's just going to be when the, when the when the when the other when the other one says when the other corner says, "Hey, my guy's had enough." Right. That's what, like I said, you you're talking about Muhammad Ali. Cool, yeah. Don't get me wrong, dude. Even um, heck, even De- Deontay Wilder has knocked out guys. 30, 40 pounds heavier than him. God, no. God. Penny Pacquiao. <laughs> Again, yeah. but yeah. Also, though, how how established was he not? I mean, also, probably he was on a couple he could, probably on a couple of toys. Well, AKA Fed. Mayweather is established. The only difference is that Mayweather doesn't in middleweight or, or heavier weights than he's been before. He doesn't have that punch power that he has. Also, don't forget, though, his right hand has been a problem for many, many, many years. Yeah. So, at this point, like, you're older now. You haven't been boxing since... <laughs> The last exhibition fight. No. <laughs> so, no. I mean, at this point, you're you're not fighting someone that is retired. No. You're fighting someone who is still active. You're fighting someone who actually, like, so I don't, again, I don't think Floyd's going to lose. Floyd will never put himself, like, in a losing situation. But like mm-hmm. I said, basically what you're paying for is to show Floyd train a cruiserweight. Yeah. It's just becoming a different boxer. So you're pretty much watching an exhibition, like a funny not exhibition. What's I mean, it called? It, a spar. It, it's not even a spar, dude. It's a training session. Training session? Ooh, Because he's literally going to probably tell him later on after the fight, look, dude, this is what I saw you do wrong. This is what you have to improve <laughs> on. And then people may take you serious. Just yeah. the hell up and no one can actually talk. I feel like yeah. he's been involved with the Paul brothers since, like I, like I posted a while ago. I'm talking about the show. They po- they were together since 2017, 2018, way back then. And yet they've been in the midst with each other since then. Like, it's kind of weird on what's going on in the background with these guys. And I feel like this is all just for the show. So It is. It, it, it's, it is. It's just for the show. It's just for show and tell. It's, yeah. like, it's kind of annoying. Now, if we're going <laughs> to not, I'm going to jump off subject, but on but, subject. I just think it's really dumb of Mayweather to do it. I do. I think it's stupid. I don't think he should waste his time. I, I think it's dumb because why? <sighs> I listen, just, l- l- listen. I, I get you, but at the end of the day, though, Stupid. like this is kind of really hurting boxing. Yeah, yeah. And listen, Thank you. listen to this. Listen to this. If Mayweather is to lose this fight, or somehow a loser is determined, you know, we're gonna all four of us are gonna determine a loser and winner, right? Thank you. Okay, agreed. Agreed. Yeah. If he comes out the loser in this, Paul has so much bragging rights at this point. Yeah, you would. And it's so bad. And that is so bad bad. for the boxing. But I mean, though, at this point, let's put it, let's put it, uh, Floyd, 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 Floyd loses. And then it's like, okay, cool. But again, though, it's an exhibition fight. So no, you guys know how Paul. You guys know how the Paul brothers are. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah how they operate. Gonna be like high, I said before, be that's what I'm saying. Well, once his face knocked them out, he's gonna be calling out McGregor. If and there's all if that there's any up. ounce of Mayweather getting not like woozy or yeah. oh my god, I'm about to fall out. Like they, they're gonna be. He's all gonna over take it. that and just go to the wall with it. And his brother I mean, is I, gonna back him up. Yeah. I mean, but at that point, it's just like, dude, you really can't because there's so many people who, who made him woozy. Yeah, but uh, just, yeah, uh, I just uh, now nah, that just I just look at Mayweather though. Now how mm-hmm. he's gonna 50, I mean, Fifty Cent's gonna jump right on the case. Yeah, <laughs> Fifty Cent's gonna be he's like gonna, the man came uh, right. Dude, dude, I get, I'm surprised Fifty has an argument saying, "Hey, champ, the main reason why you took this fight because you needed the money, huh, champ?" Bro, the shit clubs ain't paying for themselves anymore now, champ. Huh? What happened there? I, I, don't, I already you. hear him, man. I'm <laughs> telling you, Mayweather is kind of dumb. I don't know, man. I just think I, it's dumb. I feel I feel at this point though, man. Here's why it's hurting the sport. 
Yeah, okay, yeah. Because you have people that are retired. You mm-hmm. have people that basically said, I'm done with the sport coming out to fight some random kid. Mm-hmm. When you have actual people Man, there opponents. that don't fight. Yep. Who well, we've been saying, we <coughs> want to see you fight. We mm-hmm. want to see you throw hands we to see each him. other. We want to see and the you. only thing that is, it's not the right time. Yeah, right, exactly. Well, it's not the right moment. I don't want to do this. Agree? Then. The money isn't right, guys. Ooh. The money is not is not at, at its at its time. And you right. sign and you sign with some YouTubers, bro. Like some like, weird honestly? ass fake jumping like, into the like, sport. Again, like doctors, bro. Like, yeah. Again, it's not. It's like again, it's it's the retired guy just coming yeah. out saying that. But at this point, it's like okay, if the retired guy you got a fight happening <laughs> again. Yeah. Granted, it's yeah. Floyd. But yeah. now let's look at the other two guys that just fought recently. Yeah, I'm Tyson and Roy Jones Jr. Yep. <laughs> they can get a fight going and watching Earl Spence and Gerald Crawford you know, finally get a fight going anybody together. Anybody else in the world. Heck, a 50 year old mini pack is about to fight Earl Spence <laughs> and guess what though? We still don't have Spence versus Crawford. Exactly. Crawford mm-hmm. is the greatest of all time. Mm-hmm. Well, well, one of the greatest. And, one of the greatest. You know what, man? <laughs> completely off subject here. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go into something really deep. This We could take it today. It's going to be a long conversation or we could take this next week. Ryan Garcia. So Ryan Garcia, a couple weeks ago, has been claiming the fact that he has, he has anxiety. He has been having some mental health issues, and he can't box. He can't box right now. So, um, Dave Devin Henney comes out says, "Hey, dude, um, based on your, what you're going through, I wish you the best of luck, man. I'm here, like as a friend, if you need me, like you know, mm-hmm. we like basically the boxing community poured its heart and soul out for this kid." When the fight ended between Haney and Lenars, which, by the way, Haney got rocked. God, sock, Haney got rocked. Sock, sock him popped. <laughs> Dude, them legs buckled. Like, I don't care what anyone, you can sit here and tell me, them legs in the buckle, that's a lie. Them legs buckled. They're like, sock him Literally. Yeah, they were like, nah, they were like, yeah. Not, they were like, yeah. I remember that. Man, it was nasty. But, I mean, at this point, though, like, Haney, basically, after the fight, Garcia starts trash talking him on, on, on social media. Dude, if I would have hit you like that instead of Lenares, I would have knocked you out. Mm. Dude, I would have beat you. Dude, it is, and it's like you're talking, and then out of the blue, you have a fight against Javier Fortuna. Mm. A month ago, though, you, about a month, two weeks ago, you were saying you didn't want to fight because you had mental issues, but all of a sudden, you ha- you're fighting Javier Fortuna. Them facts. Explain. Them facts. Them facts. Please. Yeah. So, a lot of fans are calling him out and saying, dude, you're ducking. That's exactly yeah. what you did. You claim anxiety. Because you didn't want to fight Haney, because you didn't want to fight Tate Davis, you didn't want to fight Pacquiao, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and now it's like, oh, oh, I'm claiming anxiety because I'm I'm mentally sick. And then recently, because of all the comments, he makes another, and he's been, by the way, he's been making numerous TikToks. Yeah, that's throughout, true. Throughout this whole all process, the time. yeah, he's been definitely. Making numerous TikToks. So I guess is this, he is he active? He's yeah, active he's re- he's re- oh, so no. according to he's, people, he's really really active. Can, can we confirm he's an active TikToker? <laughs> You have to listen for producer RJ. I think I'm gonna need you to do some homework because I don't have a TikTok account. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't follow boxers. Okay. I mean, Unless you know, Daniel is Mike Tyson. I mean, know, yeah. you could still look him up though. That's all I'm asking you to do. Oh. Look up the boy. That's back to, it. Back to you. So at this point though, it's like, all right, cool. So you're active on social media, and then I think it was yesterday he comes out and says, "I'm coming back with a vengeance." Mm-hmm. Cool. All right. I would have believed you if you weren't if your name wasn't already signed on a dotted line against Javier Fortuna. Mm. If you would have sit here and said, "All right, look, dude, you, Dave, Devin Haney, Haney, you wanted me, you got me. Damn. After after yeah. you fight Teofimo Lopez, you and me are you and me are right. Heck, take Davis. I called you out. Let's go, Manny Pacquiao. I called you out. Let's Somebody. go. Somebody. Yeah, exactly. But <laughs> you mean to tell me you're going to come out with the vengeance to prove, quote unquote, that? Mm. You, uh, that you, that you were are coming back with the vengeance against Javier Fortuna. Yeah. Not even against Linares, <laughs> against Fortuna. Last time I checked, boy has been past his prime. But that's just yeah. me, though. Yeah. No, you're right. Your topic is correct. Yeah, it's yeah. just, and that's, again, that's why we keep saying that yeah. boxing is on the wrong. It, Put him on the spot. They're, on, the, you're right, they're on a jacked up spot. Like, yeah. you guys can sit there and have in the media, call, like, start nagging at somebody, have some spews, and then all of a sudden, th- there's a scenario or a scene that kind of interferes it's, with that. 
now all of a sudden it reverses something else. So it's like you're really setting yourself up now. Like you're in the media now. It's We're going to pay attention to this. It's getting to the point where the media controlled <clears throat> the fights, right? And now the boxers are taking it upon themselves to be like, uh, I'm mm-hmm. going to really choose who I want to fight now. Mm-hmm. And it's like, bro, like, no, you, you can't. You're supposed to get thrown into uncomfortable situations, bro. That's the point. I, I mean, proving yourself as a boxer, talented wise. I you. think you know. Yep. You're like, supposed to be, you know, uh, yeah, up against something you're not expecting. Yeah. Uh, you know me. I like sometimes breaking that fourth wall, and yeah. and I'm I'm gonna be the one to say it. I yeah, have fought. It. I have fought many demons in my past life. Mm-hmm. Um, I've contemplated suicide many times. I've almost gone through the act a couple times myself at a younger age. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I still suffer through depression. Mm-hmm. Heck, I just had an episode this uh, this past week. Mm-hmm. And there's moments where it's like you know what it's just it's a it's a heavy toll on you and you really don't want to do anything. Mm-hmm. And yeah. you know what? There's moments where it's just like you know what? I just I don't want to be bothered. I don't even want to work. I don't want to yeah. do anything. And you know what? You push yourself through. But it's like I I don't talk trash to anybody. Mm-hmm. I mean, heck, you guys probably know. You guys probably know based on po- like me talking wise okay. when I'm okay and when I haven't been okay. Right. Mm-hmm. You guys will talk to me vibes. every day. It's all the vibes, it's all the vibes. You guys will talk to me every day, but you guys know I'm sending you guys information. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm constantly with the jabs. Yeah, especially against you and LeBron James. But <laughs> the, the snake disc, yes. Not, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I'm about to get on you for that one. But like you guys, you guys know how I am. Mm-hmm. So it's like when I'm not really talking, like you guys know, like all right, cool. He's just he's probably going through a moment, or just they're not really paying attention. Mm-hmm. But at this point, it's like you know. And it's like the person who's going through it, it's just like, look, man, I don't want to do anything. Right. I don't even want to talk. Mm-hmm. So it's like for you to have sat there and said, I'm going to claim anxiety and then sign the line. Wow. And then say, I'm going to now trash talk you. It's like, why? I com- yeah, yes. <laughs> like, what? There's, like, a line, get- there's a line between and professional then, and, then, hold and on, unprofessional. Hold on. And then the, the thing is, though, you're still claiming anxiety. You're still yeah, claiming you have it. But yet, I'm going to sit here and make all these TikTok videos. I'm still going to sit here. I'm going to talk all my trash. Going into your next fight. Going into your next fight. But I mean, I have a good. Okay, so unless he deleted a whole bunch of them, the last thing was on was on March, okay? Then he wasn't on after March 28th. Okay, March 28th of this year. After that, the last next time he came out was in um, May twenty seventh. So, Mister Anxiety, and then he just came back uh, four days ago. See, Mr. really, Mister Anxiety? Huh? You know, well, come on. That's all I got to say. Yeah, very true. No, if you guys want to add your thoughts, go ahead. But if you don't, no, I'm, that makes to the next one. I, <laughs> pretty much listen to you. That kind of that kind of perspective of two, like it's it's. You're sitting here. It's just the midst of the rest in the boxing game, and it's becoming a knack in with fans that's itself, like us. WWE. Like <laughs> it's irritating to the most. Where that's why we're that's why we've been turning away from your product. That's why we're going towards the UFC and listening to them, a bare knuckles, or all these other entities and stuff like that. That are really in the midst of like I'm gonna put this person who's head and head, this main guy. This main person, let's get to him. Let's make the money and go from there. It's because they're giving you the fights you want. Yeah, they're not. They're not waiting. They're not knocking. This is not the eighties at all whatsoever. This is, this, we want the fight now. Now make the fight happen. We don't now. want. We don't want the simmer in the juice. We don't want the. No. We don't want, we don't want the. We don't want the marination. We want no. the fight now. Sign the line. Let's go. Heck, three months from now, have the fight. Wilder, we want a Wilder Fury three. We're getting Wilder Fury three. Yeah. <laughs> That's true, but it took us like almost a year and a half, close to two. But I mean, no, I mean, yeah. let's be honest. So last yeah. year, last year because of COVID. That's so, true. Okay, okay yeah, so I give you that. Here's give me that thing, though. Give me that. Like if we're Ooh. talking about boxing. Oh, damn. Dang, go oh, wait, wait, wait. Hey, all I heard, all I heard, all I heard. If we're gonna be talking about boxing. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's because we're having uh, boxing matches on there. touch yourself and I just sound like a sheep. I top, need to, I need to make a struggle today. Of the years, and then this guy, <laughs> these guys face each other, boom, gets with a right hook. All right, so, so yeah. uh, after finished. watching a second or Martinez knock out Paul Williams, uh-huh. here's my take on what's happening with, you know, the thing that's keeping boxing alive is the old guys. I said it before. You got Pac, not Pacquiao, well, Pacquiao. Yeah. But you got Miguel Cotto against Juan Marquez. A yes. fight that should have, you know, it's finally going to happen. I didn't expect it to ever happen, but True. with this new Legends thing going on, Legends are coming back. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, next, you got Tyson against Lennox Owens. Mm-hmm. You got Holyfield against 
that guy that made Red Tyson retire way back in the day that was like a C-list player, but I guess he's A-list for Holyfield. Right. So you have all these old cats at least trying to, you know, bring something back that's dying because the young cats can't handle it. Exactly. Okay. It's, it's showing in some light right there. But yes, go ahead. Oh, that's all I got. Oh, that's all I got. <laughs> but yes, agreed. So it's it's just a show that pretty much, like I said before, these old guys are really saying, like, look, little girls, look, little little boys and stuff, whatever. You guys want to get in the rain? You guys want to really say you're boxers? It's, it's not, it's not even little boys and little girls. Listen here, keyboard warriors. Ah, <laughs> okay, there you go. Listen here, listen here, keyboard warriors. Hashtag spotlight. It's time that knock you out. actually knock know. Out. It's actually no time that you know. Ooh. Out. Ooh. It's actually that Pack you knew how, what, what's, what's it like to box. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. He's in, done. In He's the, over. Why are they even counting? That was in 2012. I'll never yeah. forget that knockout, dude. I actually thought he killed him. I, I was shocked in my mind when they were saying that Pacquiao this got one. knocked out. Like, this what? Oh, that's oh. it. All right. Sorry, oh. guys. We're going to have to edit some yeah. of this up. Yeah, but yeah, it was good. Otherwise, <laughs> edit some of this out. Focus. Entity is crazy. Focus. <laughs> now, on the same card, we get Chad Johnson <laughs> on there. Chad Johnson's <laughs> making his boxing debut, which I don't think he's going to win. I think he's going to get knocked out. Sorry, Chad. I like you, but... You get knocked out. I don't know. See uh, like, I don't see it. I can I, see him getting knocked out. Yeah. So, he gets knocked out. He doesn't have the Ultra Cinco mentality. No. no he is well, you don't he want to have the Ultra Cinco mentality. It's that, it's that whole dipping into, uh, stepping into a whole different element. You think yes. you can do something and you you just can't, Nemo. No, I'm just playing. Nah. Thank you. <laughs> it's the same thing with Nate Johnson. It's Nate Robinson. Hey, hey. Same thing with Nate Robinson. Yeah, I, hey, oh, hey. I've been boxing all my life. I've been what? hurting people. I've been having bar fights left and right. And I think I could yourself. get in the ring and show you a thing or two. To bring him up. This, this is this is literally what happens when you're you're a player who's past his prime. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Chad Johnson is past his prime and doesn't have any more money. <laughs> so now he wants to fight because yeah. he knows I can make a quick buck. If he comes out with a sure. fucking gold chain. Oh, oh you man. Dude, now, he's gonna come out with a gold chain. Step all in all, yeah, yeah, yeah. then we got now we got on a social media standpoint: De La Hoya versus Canelo. Now, oh. I've uh, oh. we talked about this a couple shows ago. I I Multiple said, shows. and Multiple. I even asked all of you guys. I as soon as De La Hoya announced that he was making a comeback to the boxing ring, in my mind. That was at the same time when Canelo was dealing with his legal issues in the court with the zone and the contract dispute. Yeah. And when De La Hoya announced he's making a comeback, I even stated, would this be a possibility down the road between De La Hoya versus Canelo? It seems like it's starting to kind of be flourishing. But even if it is flourishing and it does happen, we all know Canelo is knocking the hell out of De La Hoya. Knocking the hell out of him. And all in all, he is knocking them lights out. There's no even competition. So why even... Like, yes, you're going to get some heat. You're going to get background and get some money. But why put you through yourself through that, De La Hoya? Why? I'll tell you like this. The way you stop Canelo, Triple G proves it. A lot of people have proved it. Get yourself a good dad. To this day, I have yet to see someone put a more golden jab together than Oscar De La Hoya. Mm-hmm. Oof. When he was prime and he was golden, golden jab Oscar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> golden club. Yeah, no, golden, just golden, 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 jab, golden jab. Just golden jab. Just golden jab. Honestly, dude, that, that was his bread and butter. Heck, in the, the Mayweather fight after the sixth round. I forgot the I forgot the interviewer's name, but they literally said, Oscar, why did you stop using the jab after this round? Was Oscar's next response? Tonight wasn't the night for the jab. That's stupid. So when you were killing him yeah. <laughs> with a jab, yeah. you stopped it because, oh, well. But, I mean, at that point, like, if you look at it, people who have been using the jab against Canelo really stop him. Yeah. Now, the thing is, boys got hands. De La Hoya is not fast. At all. So that's the only reason why I say that Canelo will just. This is going to be mean. This is going to be mean, but I know De La Hoya is going to be coked up. And trying to box with him. So he's going to get a lick or two as far as receiving one from Canelo. 
He may last a few times or whatever, but that boy's getting knocked the heck out. I believe it, Tony. You know I, I, mean? I believe it, Tony. He, he, I can see that. Right? What do you, what do you think? Early knockout? Early? I would say second round knockout. Oh, no. yeah. Second round. He's yeah. gonna he's gonna get in the he's in Del Hoy's gonna get in the field and Canelo's gonna play with him. Canelo's gonna be like, I mean, oh sure. okay okay, you come at me, you come, come on come on come come come, come. You, I fuck you out yeah come with me come with me. <laughs> <laughs> with, that, with that mentality, I, yeah, you should get knocked out. You know what I mean? I'll fuck it out. You know what I mean? Come, come, on, come, on, come face but me. Come, come here. It, come here. Okay. And then he's going he gonna to do his little thing. He's going to do the shoulder shrug. Bang. Uh, huh? I think well, that's a better reach Oscar's advantage. Got, I think Oscar got Oscar that. Oscar got about, like, what, five inches? Oscar. Oscar you right? Yeah. But a couple Oscar. inches at least. Oscar. I would say. I, I, I think it's, I think it's like, under five inches, so yeah. Yeah. I always say Oscar has a better reach, but... the Canelo knows how to work against the reach. That's my thing, though. I feel like you're sleeping on him defensively. Canelo works at, has been working on a reach. Regardless of, let's say, for instance, of the, the, the fighter itself, he knows how to get around it. He knows how to step on the side of re- get re- me, sending a jab. No. So, well, that's because he's shorter. I mean, we know who won that. So, <laughs> you know. I, <laughs> Isn't he shorter than the lawyer? What's the difference? Yeah, I don't know. So, we got a guy who has a reach that knows oh, how to look, use see, that reach. Versus- Canelo rematch. Oh, love to see that. Why? Because you like to see that. You like to see that, Chris. Like, you like to see that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sure right now. You let us see that, Jackie. You, you, like you want to see that, Lee? You want to see that? It, it fits. His name is Lee. Fits, God damn it. it. It's Mayweather. Yeah. Right now against Canelo. Mm-hmm. Mayweather wins. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Damn. Probably, yeah. That. That. Thank you, SG3. I for all the hype that they're, for all the, all the hype that they're trying to give Canelo, dude. Yeah, bro. The guy is looking good against. Fighters that are out of their zone. Mm. He is looking good against fighters that honestly are no longer there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Against fighters who are out of the zone, yeah. no longer honestly doing much for boxing. Mm-hmm. Fighters who are honestly not not doing much for the sport. Mm. Yeah. Like he's it, like he like the last two titles. It'd be the same prediction, bro. Yeah. Carl was calling you out since 2016, mm-hmm. along with Triple G. Why did it take you five years to fight him? I'll give you COVID for one. What's the next one? <laughs> COVID part oh. two. There's only one COVID, though. COVID, <laughs> COVID, COVID 20? No, I'm sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> Always only one for one year. Okay. And, and you mean to sit here and tell me, oh, it's because, you know, it's a, I was waiting for the moment to kind of burr, and I was waiting for it. For the money to settle. What money? There was going to be no money. <laughs> well, that's the problem back then. And I said it before and I'll say it again. Money didn't matter in the old days, man. So in the 80s, those, whoever, whoever's better is better. That's, and what, that, like that, that's what brought in the money. Who's ever better is better. And I'm going to get money afterwards. I'm going to get my publicities. I'm going to get my commercials, my movies, my, my TV shows, my all that type of stuff. Nowadays. My shoes, my brand. It's going to get higher. But nowadays, it's like you know what? I need to make sure that I have at least I'm guaranteed at least a hundred thousand. And that's just ridiculous. in case I lose. I want to make sure I have money because I'm gonna lose. Yeah. They need they need a loss fee and a just a case fee. Yeah, exactly. Crazy. Thank Crazy. you. It's ridiculous. Now moving along from there, we got Woodley versus Paul announced versus <sighs> Jake Paul now. <laughs> on now this Jake Paul on Showtime. On Showtime. Mm-hmm. Date, I don't know if they announced the date just yet. Mm. I didn't see it on there at the moment right now. I just so seen, far, they, I don't think, I don't I just seen them having date. a face-off. I think it's a matchup, but no date. So the matches is set. Date, I'm, I think it's still questionable, so we'll go from there. But we'll talk a little bit more from that. But that's pretty pretty intense on how that's wild. I did call it, though. I did say Wilder's got, Woodley's got next. But again, I don't, I don't believe he's doing anything. I think Woodley's going to get knocked out. Um, yeah, I think Woodley's going to get knocked out. I think it I'm just saying. It's kind of hard for you to come back from a, a a five losing streak within the UFC and then sit there and so, say you want to be a boxer so and then Tony, you want to win. So Tony, do you feel do you feel where I'm coming from on they Jake like the Paul brothers they get this certain advantage over their opponent? Yes, and and that, yes. that's why I you know what I'm saying like yes. they come at a certain advantage to where and what play what made it more sense was Ben Askren when you pick Ben Askren and now you're jumping to Tyron Woodley who's been on a losing streak who's mentally. Is not there? No. Woodley's also a title holder, though, in the UFC. He's lost. He's He doesn't he's, have... He had he a does, title, but he lost title, he, but. he has not had that punching knockout under... That dog mentality in him mm. since he lost. Since he lost. And even then, 
it was against Stevenson is when he lost that that drive. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I hate to break it to you, but this is the saddest part about it. The fact that the non the non official boxers excuse me. He's a boxer though, no? I mean at this point, excuse me. At this point the Paul brothers are technically boxers. No, no, technically. no, I was talking about Woodley. Woodley's technically no, no, a boxer. I'm, I'm not yet, no, boxer no, wrestler. No, no. Yeah, but like I'm talking about the Paul brothers. Yeah. I'm talking about the Paul brothers already. Yeah. It's sad the fact that the Paul brothers could actually sign a damn fight and yet we still cannot get Terrence Crawford. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Fair enough, argue. I Fair hear enough. You. Yes, I hear agree. You. <laughs> I now, hear you. there was some news that uh, Dirk Draje wanted to announce on the show about boxing. We kind of want to bring that's why we brought up the boxing uh, thing format, brought up first. But yet, every single time I say something, you want to be like that. All right, so recently we, you know, a long time back, a few years ago, we lost one of the greatest legends of all time. He is the greatest boxer of all time, Muhammad Ali. You're the greatest. Give me a beer. And yes, I just wanted to give a, you know, like a oh, shout out to, to Muhammad Ali oh, and the anniversary oh, of his oh, passage. Well, as always, you'll always remind, you know, you always remain in our hearts and our mind and be one of the greatest things to ever happen to the sport. That's yes. true. Yes. Thank you, Muhammad Ali. Thank you, Muhammad Ali, for a fact on there. Love. Just appreciate everything you've done. I agree with yeah, you on that. Paradise, now, before we get into NBA, I want SG3 to talk about our soccer news. Please, SG3, what is I'm up, my brother? Fight. Oh, wait. Oh, we're in soccer. No, no, we're not talking about that. We're not football. There. Football. No. Yes. <laughs> not bad. We're, we're, we're talking about the goal. <laughs> yes. oh, oh. Uh, Go ahead, uh, SG3. James tried soccer one time and he sucked. <laughs> 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 we're just getting started already. Man. <laughs> so... Uh, as you all know, this past Sunday it was the final uh, for the Mexican and for this for this season of the Mexican League. Get it, and after twenty three years, I watch this shit. Actually, let, let me let me ask you a question. What do you do with the twenty three year old itch? Oh, he scratches. Oh yes, Cruz Azul. That's scratch it. Good ass game. That was good. It was a nail biter. I mean, don't get me wrong, dude. For the longest time, at the end of the second half, I literally thought that the Crystal was going to give up the game because they mm-hmm. just kept giving the ball away. I was like, "You guys, I am not even lying with y'all, bro. <laughs> I was baked as I fuck, and I split that. Ch- I was like, bro, I switched to the game. It was tied. I was like, oh my god, these. Are- <laughs> I was like, bro, this is a whole That's like yes. crazy. Yeah, so it was a very good game. Very um, good. Game. Then in the. Other news, currently international wise, the CONCACAF, which is this side of the world, a world before South America, mm-hmm. have a tournament going on right now tomorrow. I believe it's yeah, tomorrow's the final, Mexico versus USA. Um, you know what? Just to get a quick heads up, who do you go for? For where? Mexico, Mexico USA final. USA. Mexico USA final. The Mexico versus the USA, the showdown. This is tomorrow. Of the showdowns on this side of the world. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'll have to go with USA for some other reason. All right, cool. And I wouldn't have to call it two to one. Oh, Lisper, what do you got? And I would have to call it. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, two to one. Let me one Because I'm Mexican and I'm American, I like to keep myself away from. Listen, we're not here for you to go <laughs> half and half, man. He said, just he's just you and your political ways, man. I swear to God, said, the refs are going to have a great game. No. This, this, is, this is not. This is this is not a time for you to say, "Look, man, there's going to be a draw at the end," and then when they say, "Look, I went one half for Mexico and one half for the USA," no, pick a same time. <laughs> okay. So, pick a side, man. <laughs> if the blue comes in strong, oh, that little weight. But the green comes in strong, the green's gonna win. Okay. All right. That makes uh, sense, believe it or not. Ugh. All right. <sighs> Sounds good. Sounds good. I, uh, as Zach the Mac, I'm, I'm gonna have to go with Mexico on this. All right. Coming in hot with the vengeance. What? What? Bella Mexico. Okay. Oh, he said Bella Mexico. Okay. okay. All, All right. right. Um, and then as for myself, you know what, man? I go one nothing, and I'm uh-huh. probably gonna go USA. Really? Yeah. One nothing. Jeez. One nothing USA. Wow, I like yeah, that combo. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if mm-hmm. Please what we got? That up. What else next? Um. Also, you currently have so, uh, World Cup qualifying already in the South Hemisphere. In the in the South has Hemisphere. <laughs> this upcoming Tuesday, you have Colombia versus Argentina, Ecuador mm. versus Peru, Venezuela versus Uruguay, Paraguay versus Brazil, Chile versus Bolivia. If you need me to go slower, I cannot go any slower than that. Believe me. <laughs> it's called the rundown. Not, so, yes. <laughs> run Before we move on to the <laughs> NBA, the no. congratulations, <laughs> Craig, congratulations, Pops, your team, your Cruz Azul mm-hmm. finally won. Hey. Congratulations. Hey. I know I, I texted you right after their win. 
And you're like, we're champions, son. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, yeah, we're I'm good. So, and then oh, uh, me. <laughs> <laughs> now I know why you like Cubbies. Now I know why you like the Cubs. <laughs> the same colors. Uh-huh. And last, but last but not least, uh, currently you have the the UEFA Euro, and then the Olympics are also coming up this year. So this Ooh. this is a summer of soccer. Stay for this. Okay, the Olympics will be good. Intense soccer teams. Isn't SG two a fan of Chris Asu? Yes, believe me, he was very uh-huh. happy. This, what? Hey, Your dad was too? Yeah, man, my dad was happy. My wait, dad wait, 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 come on, come on. Your father's SG two? Yes. Well, because my grandfather SG one. So, so to listen, oh, then, we don't need to hear the rundown on that. No spot, no spotlight. Hashtag no spotlight. Yeah, why don't so, we go? Why so like, spill the beans? Side I re- note: I, re- I just fun fact for Zach and Zach. Please don't that. Yeah. So, fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> so that's crazy. Now, now, now that I was I like already, the, uh, also last but not least, <laughs> Lionel Messi today signed a new contract with Barcelona. Uh huh. Where if you guys want to see Lionel what? Messi play on U.S. soil, probably within two years. <laughs> Really? Within 2023, there is a connection to Inter Miami uh-huh. for him to come and play here in the MLS. Yeah. So in two years, y'all better be saving your tickets because them tickets going to be expensive to watch Inter that Miami. That's true. I'll be selling gonna, tickets, but yeah, I got you guys. No, that's a good they're, idea. They're, right. they're going to they're gonna be bringing over the <laughs> to yesterday's <country>. game. <laughs> After the score was already decided. Exactly. <laughs> oh, this is you for 100 bucks, you know? <laughs> You don't know the winner. You don't know the winner. You don't know the winner yet. You don't know. Yet. That's crazy. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm literally looking at highlights of it right now. Man, that's from last year. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, you don't know. You gotta go to the game, bro. Nah, <laughs> mother, he's just Prince. No, he's just Prince. Just Prince with the bomb. <laughs> so crazy. Oh, yeah. All right, that's all I had to say, guys. Sounds good. Man. All right, moving on to NBA news. Now, before we get to discussing our. Sure. Sucky ass LeBron. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna Actually, jump. Actually, you know what? Hold on, wait. Huh? I, I know I'm saying this at a really wrong time, but <laughs> to one of our longtime listeners, we really appreciate you, Miss Josephine. You just had a birthday this past week. Oh, happy oh. birthday! From happy everybody birthday. here, niggas ain't shit. We want to say <laughs> at you, girl. Happy <laughs> wrong for that. It's your birthday. Don't let him do you. <laughs> happy birthday, happy birthday yeah, to you, Miss Josephine. We appreciate you for listening to us. Yes. Uh, sorry, the fact that LeBron just couldn't bring it. In. It wasn't God's plan, now, was it? Oh, it wasn't. It okay. wasn't. It yeah, wasn't not this game. Now we're gonna start on the top of the bracket on the eastern side. Oh, I think it was Eastern. Uh, oh, Washington's some... Eastern. Yeah. Oh wow. It's crazy. Okay. So, oh look, Russell Westbrook has bounced out again. Okay. Next. Well, we'll stop at the top. Philadelphia wins four to one. Uh, all in all, kind of knew that already. I knew that for oh, a no, fact. Right. Four to one. So yeah, all in all, I knew that because Westbrook on a team, especially on a team that supposedly he's supposed to be the leader, yeah. ain't going nowhere. Okay. Apologize. Okay, just to touch on that one right yes. there. Let's talk about how Philadelphia closed without a beep. That is good. Let's just talk. I finally they appreciate that without it. Mm-hmm. So it's good. Indeed. Yes, and it's good, and it's a good um, positive standpoint when it comes to the team just as a being pushed note. forward. Yeah, just as a closing note and being Agreed. able to do that shit. So, that. Agreed. Mm-hmm. That's good. So they're moving on to the second round. Um, New York Knicks and Atlanta. Now, sad to say for New York Knicks, being in the playoffs for the first time since, if I'm not mistaken, 96. Or something. Say one more time. Trey Young, come home. So, Trey Young, Young, come home. Ah, Trae Young, Trae Young, come home. Well, I'm not even going to stunt. This made me more of a Trey Young fan. Thank you. I, I agree, did. too. Yes. Did. Even though he was going bald-headed, which he needs to do some nah. of the hair, he just, needs to shave the, the head. He needs to shave the head. I've been a Trey Young fan. Shave the head. Shave the head. I've been a Trey Young fan going into the series and even before it. What? So I was a horrible fan. I did not like that guy. Even to this day, I still don't like him. The guy's like this big. He puts a team on his back. Yeah, but still, he does okay. <laughs> that's, no, some, that's some that's some shit. That's good. That's good. Shit. That's yeah. good stuff. I agree. Yeah. That's so, good. With that but said, I don't. I don't like your hair. I don't Tony like your hair. Change your look. Yeah. I don't like. Dude, like, uh, shave your. This is what I hate about <laughs> NBA players or celebrities in general. Okay. You can wear a headband. You get you get your hair going away and fading away. Enough. What are you gonna do, man? He's what bald what bald are you doing? You're playing. Hey, hey! There's a reason why LeBron puts that puts the headband back a little bit more. Even that, that's season. what I'm talking about, Sasuke. No wonder you suck in life this because you're not bald headed yet. You really full head. You fully <laughs> haven't committed it. <laughs> he said that's why you suck at life. Yes. <laughs> once you eliminate the, <laughs> the hair, oh once God. you eliminate the hair, oh you reduce the retention <laughs> of your the speed force. Okay, you can be able to go faster than anything. He goes <laughs> makes oh. you go flying a little bit more down. The, <laughs> 
<laughs> because, because, course, because you've been bald before. Yeah, yeah I know exactly yeah. what he's talking okay, about. Okay, you know? okay. So the matchup between Atlanta Thank and the oh, yes. Sixers. Sorry, my bad. So, um, home, can we, bad. Um, okay, as me, can we? 4-1, can we, can we Atlanta takes it. Oh, there we go. 4-1, four four one, one, Atlanta. 4 Atlanta takes it. They went, Now they're going against Philadelphia. Okay? No. Yes. Right. Okay. Now they're going against 76ers in the second round, which I think game, game one of that starts Tomorrow, or actually yeah. today, actually, to be honest, a little no. bit later today. No, yeah, 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 yeah right, right. Yes, so that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> this is <about> right. <laughs> I'm gonna know predictions real quick, though. Um, you got anything on that? I would have to say it's gonna be a nail biter. This is gonna go to game seven. What? This is going to game seven wow. between Atlanta and Philadelphia. Yeah, game seven. But I feel that Philadelphia's taking it. Wow, yeah, I agree. I feel like Philadelphia is taking. I feel like Philly, Philly is taking in the six. Huh? Philly is taking in the six. Philly is yeah. taking the six. Hey, uh, Director RJ, since you're part of the sports show, or you want to be excluded from this NBA talk? Yeah, unless unless it you're comes entitled to the prediction. There's no game. Okay. Yet. Yeah, it's just a prediction. NBA versus Atlanta. Atlanta. <laughs> Atlanta versus Atlanta. <laughs> Atlanta versus Atlanta. Atlanta versus Atlanta. Let's say NBA? Yeah. Oh, man. 76. <laughs> well Thank you. For the NBA, then. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Obviously. NBA always wins. <laughs> no, it's the Atlanta Hawks or so I'm Philadelphia. I'm guessing that yeah. he's talking about 76ers that are being pushed by the NBA. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. I agree with that. Okay, what? So. <laughs> 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 We're the key players in uh, both teams. I'm sorry. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Uh, I, mean, I, mean, I have never one, seen that. Right. One to seven right now? No, it's best out of seven. For, for a game, this is their game one starting today. Who's going to win the best out of seven? Yes. Is their game, game one? Yeah. Uh, That's some money. Damn, I don't know much about the Hawks right now. I don't know who they have, so I'll have to go with Sixers. <laughs> You go seventy sixers? Yeah, because I don't know who the Hulks have. I haven't oh been, God. you know, ever since NBA became trash to me. I Thank you. Been following ever since they started following LeBron. Yeah. Agree with you. Okay. And now, I'm as far as as far as that though is concerned, do, so you're saying what well, game one? Now you saying what? How many games? How many games are you going to take? Is it going to go seven games? I'm say, six. Bold prediction. A bold I'm prediction, say, not no one. Third J's prediction. There you go. Okay, Hawks are going to take probably game two and four. Take game two and four. Yep. So it's and four to two. You're yeah. calling it. Very good. Very good. I like it. I like it. Now we're moving along down the road to Milwaukee versus Miami. Milwaukee swept Miami, Man. you guys. Four to zero. Four to zero. Listen, Milwaukee listen. wins. Listen, Tony the Kid. They I, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. He plays face close. Well, they just went on to the second the game. They went on to the second round. They just had their second. They just had their first game against against another team, Brooklyn Nets, which, Brooklyn Nets uh, and they lost. Okay, yeah. So we'll real, move from there. Okay, so real quick to touch on the Milwaukee and Heat uh, series, mm-hmm. I just want to touch on it because I think it's interesting. If you remember last season, mm-hmm. Miami swept Milwaukee. <laughs> they it was a clean sweep, mm-hmm. and now this year Milwaukee comes out and sweeps Miami. Yeah. I think obviously it's done and said. Now next season, you guys know how the NBA works. I think it's going to be a very interesting matchup next year between think, them two. I think you need to keep your eye. Out I on love that. Too. I love that because, because it's going to be an anger issue. They're going to exactly. go to playoffs. Mm-hmm. Butler's going to talk some shit. Yeah, yeah, it's going to talk some shit, and it's yeah. going to be one epic round. Because I they, agree they, with you. They both have bragging rights. Yes, because they both allowed each other to get. Sweet, That's true. Bro. First fucking round. Yep. And that last year, Miami swept Milwaukee first fucking round. They were yep. the dominated team. Giannis good. came in as MVP. Okay. And, you know, so now this year, Giannis shut that shit down. Jimmy Butler, what, still, okay. he's not even active on social media. So, yeah. stay, stay tuned because okay. Miami will be right there again. So, yes. all right. Just Sounds good. I love that. I love, love that. Keep that same energy. Yeah, Keep that same energy. Yeah. Now. <coughs> oh, excuse me. My bad. <laughs> Looking excited. Uh, Brooklyn Nets went against Boston. Brooklyn, 4-1 to one wins. Moves on to the second round, of course. They beat Milwaukee in the second round. Game two will be on, will be held. No, hold on real quick. Let me check this real fast. Uh, t- two days from now. Type yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Tomorrow, if any, Monday. Monday yeah. night will be the day. So. If you guys see it on TV, just turn around. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so me, Milwaukee's gonna get beaten down Monday Night Raw. Uh, more than likely, more than likely. I like that. I like that. I like that, I like that lingo. No, yeah, June seventh, Monday night. So yes, they're going against each other on TNT. Look at that on Monday Night Raw. That's right. Take a look. The only at that. dark hole 
that's not going to happen. This plan is up yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Now, before I move on to that, I want to talk about Boston, you guys. Boston. Boy. They didn't have Kemba Walker, and they did not have Brown. I forgot his last name. First name. Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown. Now, if they would have had them two, SG3 and Zach Demack, would would have made a difference? Yes. A lot, right? Enormous difference. Yes. Because okay. Jason Tatum wouldn't have to put up 50 points himself to try and carry his team. Okay. If those two were there. Um, I mean, I mean, he he's he's capable of putting up 50 points himself. But, but you need some other players you know to kind I mean? of yeah, play the roles. You, you, he just didn't. I have, feel you. Yeah. I feel you. It, now, it, yeah. after this loss... We found the transition of the coaching is changing, yeah, correctly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it going in a good way or in a bad way, SG3? I think it's going in a good way because you're keeping the guy who is still a good coach in your corner, mm-hmm. which is Stevens. Now he's just a bad, bad uh, director of, of operations. I think they're trying to go after Jason Kidd, though. As yeah, they coach. are. Did, a lot of people are going after Jason Kidd, it seems like. Because even yeah. Dame wants Jason Kidd, but mm-hmm. before we get to that point, but that's being yeah. crazy. But okay, Dame, 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 Dame time, Dame time. Right. Zach, the Matt, what do you think? On, Same thing. Well, on the, the transition on the, on the of the coaching, coaching right now. Yeah, it it's. Uh, I, I, can, admit, huh? I can put it this way: it's a move. Uh, oddly, it's a move in the right direction. So okay, put it that way. Very good. Now moving on down the bracket, Atlanta, Utah. I apologize, yeah. Utah versus Memphis, Woo! Utah. That was a good bite, nail biter one. I ain't gonna lie, that was a good nail biter. No, we talking about my boy. Yeah, no, 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 listen, it was, it was a nail biter. Donovan Mitchell. Yeah, it, it, he feels the energy, bro. It was a nail biter till talk it about my boy. Till it wasn't a nail biter. <laughs> okay. It was not. So Mitchell Utah took over the stadium, took over the the ball. He just that he did his thing. He did that, his thing. So Utah took it four to one against mm-hmm. Memphis. Yeah, advances over. They will be well. He Utah will be facing somebody on June eighth. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. Be, t- stay tuned on that, which will be Tuesday, you guys. Yeah, now, my boy, Donovan Mitchell. Mitchell. Who they're facing? We don't know. They are facing either the winners of Los Angeles Clippers and Dallas. Okay, they're going against Dallas. They're gonna go against Dallas. I got your boy. I got it. That's it. It's yeah. set. At, it's set. Tie three and three for Game yeah. Seven going forward. By the yeah. way, hold on. Wait a minute. Really? I don't want to ask this question. Mm-hmm. Honestly, though, not not being petty. But, like, as a Laker fan, not a LeBron fan, but as a Laker fan, does this, like, hit you home knowing the fact that the Clippers came back on a 3-1 against, uh, against, um, against the, against the, the Mavs mm-hmm. and your boys bounced? Like, yeah. again, I'm not trying to be petty. Like, no, I'm just being honest. Like, does it, it hurt you or does Because people it? lack on the woke situation that Golden State, LA, and Lakers are all an LA team. Mm-hmm. I love LA. So, okay. Oh. Way I'm okay. So, okay. Cool, but yeah. let's yeah. answer your question. question. No. But let's talk about it. Answer the question, though, as a diehard Laker fan. Like, not a Brian fan. I'm not. I'm a diehard Chicago fan, bro. I'm a diehard Chicago fan. But I'm saying, though, since you also last year defended the Lakers more than you more than you defended the Bulls, let's go back to the original conversation. Mm-hmm. Does this affect you as a Laker fan, though? Yeah, I said no. It would it? I believe, though, it does. You know why? <laughs> you believe, man. I had you know answered why? your question, though. But you know why, To, like, kind of, like, to, like, yeah. kind of, like, hit your, to, like, kind of, like, hit your point as well. Mm-hmm. Not, not as an argument, but kind of, like, to, like, to hit your point. Yeah. Don't forget. Remember when, oh. remember when, uh, the, the Mavs went up 2-1. What did the Laker fans do against the Cav fans? What did they do? The Laker fans started making fun of the Cavs fans. That's oh, true. really? And they That's started true. saying, "Oh, you know, you guys can't, you know, you guys can't win a game." Blah blah blah. blah. Ah. And then recently, when the Lakers went down three two, what, what does yeah. Snoop Dogg say? They, there was a big comparison. They said, "Who's going to make the bigger LA comeback, Kawhi or LeBron?" And really? They, I didn't know that. They did. They compared each other. They said they're both down in the series. They're both LA natives. Who's making that comeback? Wow. And who came out on top? Kawhi did. And, and he, and he and pushed don't forget, Actually, seven. don't forget though. And he what? put up 45 fucking points and LeBron did not. His defense was even up. even just same level too and, as and well. And let's, let's, uh, let's not forget though what Snoop Dogg said. Mm-hmm. Snoop Dogg said, guys, we're literally letting the Cavs do better than us. Yeah. Wow. So that's why it's like, my question is like if you're as if you're a diehard Laker fan, does this affect you? Does it not affect you? I would have to say, yeah. yeah. Even Ice Cube. Ice Cube is a Laker fan. Oh yeah, they're upset. Oh, but man. if no. they're smart, bro, they just kind of bandwagon the way to LA. Bro. They better. But, but to answer that series, mm-hmm. I mean I don't know. Who, 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 who do you, so you I'm think, going for so, Dallas. So, I think Dallas is gonna So take. can can Kawhi bring LA all the way who you got SG3? I got Dallas. You got Dallas LA. 
He has Dallas. You have Clippers. I got Dallas. Today, 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 today. Later and today. Look, look, on even day, as a Laker fan, even as an LA native, I know that boy. Luca special. Yeah, Luca special. <sighs> I think I think he did slip up with the fake neck soldier injury the last two games, but. Even this one, I think. No, this last game, I think he was just tired. He looked gassed out, in my opinion. He looked gassed. He looked like you know what? It it is what it is. I'm gonna let it go into the next game. I'm gonna ball out, win, go move on to the next round. Lisper producer. All right, George. Lisper producer. Thank you, thank you. I agree with you on there. I didn't realize he did that already. (laughs) Wow, he's he's in the work for 45 minutes or before the fight. So he wore he wore a full samurai suit 45 minutes before. That's not that's not the same way as a samurai suit. Oh, okay. But But he was heavy though. It was all gold. It was all gold. It may have been, but it's not the same way as a samurai suit. So let's just see. Ridiculous. You have to edit. You have to edit some of this out. Just let you know. So. Um, I leave it for entertainment standards. Yes, man. That's Especially because so, I'm in it. That, no one oh, cares about that you're with it. You, yeah, yeah. you keep rubbing yourself and you can lose yourself to a chip. All right? Then, because my go chip ahead. keeps falling off my hand. Yeah. Stop rubbing yourself, man. So, I'm trying to but, catch it. And when I'm trying to catch it, tell me rubbing man, it back, off my thumb. Okay, stop rubbing yourself, man. No one's you rubbing yourself in your can. So, <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what we got? What we got at this right point, here? who do you think is going to win? Mavs? Clippers? Who do the Mavs have? Luca. That's all? You don't have to worry about anybody else in that team. <laughs> how look at uh, the percentage at the time and how is he... Is this his first time at uh, playoffs? In the playoffs? Only, uh, no, probably second time, right? In the playoffs? Yeah. Um. Listen, I'm going to tell you this. Could only be. four of the people have scored four consecutive 40-point games. Michael Jordan is not one of them. And this man has. Hmm. And he's playing against... Kawhi Leonard. And who's with Kawhi Leonard? Kawhi Leonard. <laughs> That's all he needs, huh? You, I mean, Anthony? Or Matt Paul Kidd? George don't matter. I, I don't know whoever else is on that team. No lie. I really don't know who else is on that team. I was just saying. Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. Weapon one versus weapon one. Yeah. <clears throat> who's, which weapon is going to show Kawhi Leonard has been in the championship before, right? Oh, He's won two. And He's one, won two? Yeah. Who's he won one with? He's uh, both won the one with the Raptors and against the, Spurs. the Warriors, the and then one against the Spurs against the Heat. Spurs, yeah. Wow. Excuse me, one one with the Spurs against the Heat. He stopped LeBron from getting a three P. He stopped Curry from getting a three P. He did. Damn. That means that this guy is probably on stop his Luka? way to. Uh, Will he stop Luca? <laughs> Will yeah. he stop Luca? Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the question. I'm Christ. gonna put it like this: It's gonna lead to Game Seven. This is Game 7. Oh, it is Game 7? Yeah. Lord have mercy. Yeah, I, I thought so. this was just beginning. No, this wow, is Wow, so I was right. It did lead to Game 7. You are right. Yes, Thank you are. I'm proud of you. you. Congratulations. Great prediction. Wow. Great prediction. Well, welcome wow. to ESPN 2021. <laughs> like I said, brother well, guy. <laughs> June 6th episode of it. <laughs> wow. They've been showing highlights about this for the last two weeks, but you know what? Welcome to it. Last prediction. I didn't look Please. Like pay attention to anything. <laughs> yeah. What I say. I mean, we, we were NBA talking about this. trash for a long time to me. What does that tell you? Mm. But I'm just going to see you complain about LeBron. Why do you think it's uh, become trash? Because all I can do is complain about LeBron instead of just watching the damn sport. Okay. Oh, okay. My big prediction is. I know. They didn't make the playoffs last season. Okay, so he he, he has Who? he has Dallas. Uh, yeah, they did. They got first one eliminated, didn't they? Oh, that means that this guy's hungry. Last year. Mm-hmm. Oh damn! Yeah, I think Leonard's out. Dang, no, dude, they call Leonard out. <laughs> it's, it's so okay, so the jinx says that Kawhi Leonard's out. He's saying Leonard is out. That's crazy. Okay, so you got Dallas. What's yeah, you? because okay. I feel like this guy wants uh, to prove himself. But again, again, you guys, here's another, here's another issue that we've been we haven't talked about yet. What? On the oh, road during, during, no, during, no, no, during this season, during this series, bro. During this series, the road team has won. Oh, okay. okay. So that I feel like that's kind of playing the play right now at the moment. The, each team has each road when they go. Each team that went on the road. Has won their following game, and you're saying that LA is playing in Dallas. Is, is Dallas like, is playing in LA oh, now. Dallas is playing in LA. So for game seven, it's kind of interesting. This kind of playing the play. Luke's so going, bro. in my perspective, Luke I'm gonna do a bold double. prediction. Dallas is winning. I think Dallas is gonna be winning a uh, hundred and hundred and five to ninety seven. Dang. 
Yeah. 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 We all just a team. Yeah, bold prediction. Bold prediction. Yeah, it's I mean? not going over time. And I feel oh, like very bold. I feel like very bold. I feel like in the third quarter is I not even. I feel like the beginning of the fourth quarter is really going to kind of extend the league to where it's at. Okay, Tony, it's going to be a no biter okay, between Tony, the first. I, 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 I got you, Tony. So, 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 hold on, wait. So we're not worried about the lead wow. anymore. We're worried about the league. Okay, perfect. You know, so, I got you. Mm-hmm. I got you. So Tony, yeah. okay, this is your bold prediction. My right? bold prediction. So who's who's carrying who in third quarter? Is Porzingis carrying Luca or is Luca carrying Porzingis? No, this is going to be a Luca game. It oh, has to be a Luca game. It's going. It has to be a Luca game. Okay, has to be a Luca game. Now, it's not going to benefit Luca if. They're not producing more or less on the rebounds. Okay. If they're not going ham on, let's say, defending mm-hmm. as well as receiving the ball and getting some freaking rebounds, yeah. then Luca's gonna have to do everything and that's gonna mess everything all up. Yeah. I agree. But he's already done that for fucking five, six games. For the last two games, mainly. Yeah. He's all done right. a lot of he's done a lot of that for the last two games, mm-hmm. which is why I feel like that's where he's struggling. So that's why in this game, they bench themselves need to step up. Like Porzingis, yeah. Why are you six seven and not producing and and, and throwing up? Oh, I, Thank you. He's now, throwing up threes now, that are now, way real quick, off. Now, so real quick, I'm gonna hit you off. with this su three. No, how serious? <laughs> for real, I'll bring it up. PG thirteen. Mm-hmm. How serious does he have to play, bro, for game seven? Just PG thirteen alone. All all the late Clippers aside, we need him. Clippers need him to be. Actually, regular season PG because you guys got the claw and you you got Clippers, bro. I doubt it. How he has to? He does to be regular season PG thirteen. If he's playoff PG thirteen, Luca. Yeah. If he's actual, and you've seen him be regular season PG thirteen. I love PG thirteen. When when he's regular (laughs) season PG, man. I love Pacers. Indiana Pacers PG thirteen. I love LA PG. Yes, I love Mm -hmm. him. But yeah, okay. So he has, he has to play. He has, he has to play the ball regular out. season. Okay. okay, say less. All right, guys. Moving on down to the bracket, we got Denver versus Portland. Now, <laughs> I watched that at the same time I was watching Phoenix versus LA, and it was a nail freaking biter for that these two teams. Was my favorite series. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Favorite series. Favorite Fantastic. Series. Now, sad to say, Denver wins, goes and beats Portland four to two. Right. Mm-hmm. Moves on to the next round. They will be facing <laughs> the next team that's coming up. These but motherfuckers. Denver, <laughs> <laughs> their opponent, yeah, continue. Does not have their main star, mm. right? Yeah, they don't. I've been joking. No, huh? Murray, 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 oh, Murray, still Murray's not out. playing now. And they won that series without Murray. Oh no, he's okay. May not in the East but the number two guy in no, the team. He right? Is, he he. Uh, a j- bro, personally, Joker plays. He 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 can play without him, but he plays more comfortably with Murray there. Gotcha. He does. I've okay. seen it. I felt it. I've watched it. I got you know. Now, sad to say, this is another Dame Lillard exit in the playoffs. <sighs> Not even in the finals. Doesn't reach it. Yeah. So there have been speculations that Dame will be is on the card for a possible trade. Man. But also, they lost their coach. Mm. Their coach is now fired. Now. Dame wanting Jason Kidd to join in, be the coach of the team. But again, what does Dame need? What does he need to continue to go forward? First, Stephen A. Smith, he got a text message that read, Carl Anthony Towns is in Portland next season. Ooh. Woo! Woo! I like that trade. I mean, this is, this is if that to trade me. goes through, <clears throat> that will be awesome. This is news to me, SG3. I love Please. it. Break it down, yeah. I love yeah. it. I love Stephen it. Stephen A. Smith has said, Mm-hmm. Carl Anthony Thomas was was already in Portland, so therefore he's so Dame so so Dame's so face. So far, Actually, is that the one I shared with Carlos? Also, at this point, my though, bro, why, brother, if, if if he wasn't gonna stay, mm-hmm. let's play this. Why why does he want to have a head, say in the next head coach? Are mm-hmm. they not trading for anybody to get Anthony or, or to get? But like I said, though, at this point, though, why would why would you okay. if you're letting go of your star, mm-hmm. like you know, that most most teams do because mm-hmm. they want to build. Why let go of the star? I did then, share that with my brother in law. I apologize. Why, yeah. I did why, share that. Why uh <laughs> why um why 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 have your star have a say in the next head coach? Mm-hmm. That's true. Yeah, For what? I, so, I uh I, I not to catch up, but I personally don't think he's leaving. But I did see a lot of as soon as that game ended, like next day tweets was like signing here or speculations are going there, but correct. Um, I think Dame's pretty loyal. I don't New know York that. wants to grab yeah. him or something yeah. like that. Like, L- L- something LA like might grab him Lakers. Thank you. Thank or, you. 
if they but, can't get staff or whatever. Like the, the Lakers are going to try to grab anybody they can. Exactly. They, 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 yeah, the because they know he needs help. They know LeBron needs some big help. Okay. LeBron you know, can't do without AD. Just two, yeah. listen, two more games. Just, just spoken. Anybody. Anyways, Dane. But yeah, you're right. Correct. Stay. Okay, to stay on the Dane. I topic. believe he right. would stay. I mean, uh, now if freaking CJ McCollum leaves, I bet you he leaves. But but here, and but I'm he's a, not even up for yeah. But in my pers- in my perspective, everything mm. I think Dame should stay. Yeah, and this is because it's old fashioned NBA. Mm. Stay with the team that you build up. Stay with the team that you put on the map. You yeah. put Portland on the map, Hell right? Yeah. Stay with that team. Now, yes, when you go into free agency, no one's going to want to go to Portland. Why? Because it's not an attractive city. Period. Yeah, you can't. Okay, yeah, yeah, There's yeah. not. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. The only way you can do anything is by trades. So, yeah. Front office, make those heavy trades. Yeah, you got some. What Dame needs, in my perspective, Dame needs a proper center or a proper power so forward. So you think they should focus on the players more than the coach? Yes. Even though they're already getting ready. Thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, yeah, okay. Either way, they have in mind who they want to go after. Right, if they right. pick Jason mm-hmm. Kidd, I'm okay with. Fine, whatever. It, it, he's he's been somewhat successful. Can we talk about his time with the Bucks when he was on Shaq in the fourth? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Dropping him cups with ice or whatever on the, the floor. The, like, the, the, one, the one that cracked me up, though, was where his boy... But look at the Nets now. No, I'm just playing. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> he, was, he was actually yeah, with, yeah, the yeah, yeah. with the Bucks. He was with the Bucks. Before, yeah, before the Nets. He was with the Bucks. And, and the guy was about to like make... Uh, I forgot the guy's name. The guy was about to make a layup in his own basket. And you just see Jason Kiko. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> And then he talks to the guy. He's like, hey, we're, we're on the other side, buddy. We're yeah, not on this bro. side. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's, you know... They got that going on, mm-hmm. but as far as being Dame being successful, I think he needs somebody in the paint. He needs somebody to paint. And yes, CJ McCollin, if I was if I was Portland, he's on the trading block. Put him out there. CJ is not producing when he needs to produce at all whatsoever. He was nowhere near in this playoff in this season. Series, he was not he was gone. Right. So you gotta now, go. In order, you in gotta order, go. In order to defend Dame in the paint, uh, Zach Collins is injured. He's a very, very well Portland. Yeah, is it, no, no, literally, his name is Zach Collins, and oh. he plays for the Portland Trailblazers, and he's a center. Mm-hmm. And he was injured all series. Okay, and that was his biggest support in the paint going into the finals, and he lost them. Like, but. But you know, <clears throat> give it a Stephen A. At, give it a Stephen yeah. Stephen Adams. Yeah, grab a Stephen Adams. Yeah. Get Towns. Mm-hmm. You know, get your power forward and a center. Yeah. And boom. Exactly. Get a couple bench players, a couple role players. But they do need a bench, yeah, because they can't. You can't go nowhere without a proper bench. Game time is only so much time. Thank you. <laughs> no lie. It's only if so much time. Yeah. He's money. My right. thing is that he's yeah. cash money. He's, he can hit. He he's, can give you that last five minutes shot score. that he, he needs to If you make. want a shot, he's going to shoot and he'll make it. Thank you. But. but especially yeah. from the lettuce. Thank you. Ooh, but yes, you, you need to help your star player out. You yeah. need to give him proper Proper. Same thing with LeBron. You know, LeBron can no, jump. And he can get no, never oh, could, oh, never no, never could, never will. No, 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 he can't. He's gonna no, hate. Never will. that way. Because if he gets a good supporting cast, like he no, gets multiple. Oh, no, no, no. Let me he, ask you a question. He relies too much on supporting cast. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question before we start that. Because you're the one that brought this up. I don't want to do this to you, man. I really didn't want to do this to you. But let me ask you, though. How many times did he go over 30 points? How many times did he go over 30 points this season? Series. Who LeBron? Yeah, I don't know. None. Okay, perfect. So go ahead. Yeah. Was he was over three, you know. <laughs> so yes, I don't think he went over thirty. Because he didn't have to. Because he sucks. All right. But <laughs> that's technically where I need to leave it at. That yeah, way. Yeah. So we know Denver passes on. He can't. Uh, he so we, as far as Dame's future is concerned, it's a big question mark right now. We don't know. But all in all, we hope for the best. He deserves the best. That boy is a bowler. It'd just be nice. To see. He's. It'd be nice to see he's him on the, on the on the on the Toon Impala. Squad. No, 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 no. no. He is the, on the. He's in the. Yeah. He's, he's on the and, Goon and, and Squad. And Goon Squad. The new keep series. Woke, bro. He's cut. He's cutting the check huh? with Hulu, bro. Really? He said oh, Hulu man. doesn't just have. have the, oh, I mean, like, 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 yeah. Hulu okay. Has and then he has a money gun. <laughs> it's just like going ahead in the Bulls, right? Or no? No. No. We wish. We wish though. We wish John. Yeah. Yeah. That would have been a nice director. We wish director. Yes, we do. Uh, waiting on for the next. Now we got. Phoenix Suns, uh, my favorite series yeah. of the NBA no, playoffs. No, no, first round, my, favorite. my favorite one. Show, my favorite one. The Phoenix Suns versus the Los Angeles Lakers. Lakers got Boston six. Oh, he's way, he's Lakers way, versus LeBron versus Devin Booker. 
The Welcome to Boston, man. The, yeah, the past versus Boing. the future. Boing. Yeah. Boing. <laughs> mm-hmm. Boing. Hey, you know what? What about it? Let me ask you. Let me, so, let me ask you. Yeah. Did Booker bounce the bronze shiny head? First of all, up? Booker was a bitch for first three games. Then what? he woke, then he woke up the first last. That's okay, okay, mm-hmm. okay. Cool. He was a bitch the first two games. Hey. Then woke up the last two games. Four, two. Welcome to the series. Okay, all right. I'll, I'll you, I, I, oh, so wait, so wait. And then, and then, he, then he asks. Then he goes to LeBron's locker room. Can I get your jersey? Can you sign it? <laughs> yeah, because LeBron left. That nigga left early. LeBron get, came to Devin. I don't know who came there. I just saw the picture. LeBron <laughs> came to <laughs> Devin. Man. See, this is. But as you think, you have something to say about the series? I want to say something about it real quick. Go ahead. You know, go you ahead. know what, though, man? I want you to go ahead and say because I know you've been waiting Director. a long time. Yes, <laughs> I fucking have. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead. Yes, go ahead. I have. And this is and this is what I got to say. Um, also, make sure, to, make sure to say shout out to Miss Josephine. Yeah, you know, Josephine, this is, this is for you, my darling. Well, but he wasn't, he's like, oh. He's like, oh. This is for you, Josephine. What I got to say is, is your man LeBron is done. He's done in the NBA. He's over with. Even if he can sit there and say he wants to play for the next four to five years at that tops, five years tops, you are, you cannot, you are, Guaranteed. If he gets and there. And multiple other stars. He will not get nowhere. <laughs> super, super He's team. not going anywhere <laughs> at all. Star. You you spot. are gassed out. Your energy level. He has and four and gray hairs in his beard. It's done. That, bro. No, four. That whole <laughs> left side of his cheek is all gray. Right? All right. So. I'm, I have to debate. LeBron. I have to. De- <clears throat> in the last game. In game six. In game six. Freaking six, right? Oh, Twenty-seven six? points. Let's break five. it down. Let's break it down. Then. Let's break it down, Tony. Let's break it down. Game Tony. six. Let's break it down. Who, who went out first? You were dead tired. You were no. sweating. You were mm. gassed out. You was trenched. You was at all that. You literally would not be able to run down, run down the court, back and forth in the first and second. In the first and second quarter, you were abysmal to your team. Abysmal. You had no energy. You could not lead your team. Even if you did pass it to the players that were supposed to make the shot, they didn't make the shot. He passed did so you... fucking much. <laughs> and this is and this so is and it, this, that's a big freaking problem with LeBron. <sighs> and my in my perspective, in my eyes, and my experience, whoo, my bad, my bad. <laughs> is that that has always been LeBron's issue. You're passing the ball to everybody. No, I agree. No, it, it was. I a fact. agree. It was a factor, Tony. It was a. There was no speculation. It was a fact. He did it. Well, yes. That was the, but that I was... agree. I agree with you that in order to you want to get your team going, you want to give him the ball, feed him nah, the ball, man, go, nah. go, 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 go. No. Nah. But LeBron, if nah. they are not making the shots, no. stop feeding Look, the LeBron. Take Tony, it to Tony, the may I? Paint. May I? As as a LeBron fan, may uh-huh. I? I would, we were all disappointed. As you see, man, we were all disappointed. disappointed. Oh, okay, well then, <laughs> then back up. <laughs> we were all disappointed, bro. We were all. Because, to answer your question, he did pass too much. And I literally yelled it at the screen. I said, do what the fuck they pay you to do. Score, attack. Thank cry. you. Do. And this they is- cried. Get a foul, though, director. Get a foul. Go into the paint. That he, defense, he was, got, they were listen, all over listen. him. He got so lazy, Tony, to yes. justify your point. He got so lazy. He, that he settled. Defense. No, he settled for curry shots. But yeah. Defensed as a lazy player. Not as, as a not- James Harden. Mm, I could say like a lazy player. I mean, <laughs> and he did not defend. And he did rely on his players a lot. Mm-hmm. And it it was showing, uh, and it was kind of annoying. And it's the same as he's always been. And I do believe he has two rings. I'm gonna fuck what the fuck you say. L.A. beat all way. Um, nah, but <laughs> I mean, let's put it this way. And then I give I give you the same gave you the same advice. Yeah. When it came to LeBron, I've always stated that if LeBron had that mental state yeah. of like it was the '90s type of players yeah. of attack. And ju- even if you don't have energy, you're yeah. my, you need to understand you cannot succeed and cannot pro- Honestly, progress. To, to, look, to be honest, attack. to break it down, we just kind of had this discussion, though, about how we can see laziness on certain sports mm-hmm. and we can see how they carry the team. We did just have this discussion. So with that being said, I, 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 don't, I don't I'm not fucking LeBron. I'm not LeBron James, bro. I don't know him. I'm not I don't have, you know, I'm not him, but I can understand, you know. 
just give it up. And that and then that's sad though. He did just give it up. He yeah. did just give it up. He and that's why a lot of people are on his ass and they will be on his ass. So yes. he proves himself though. The, and the, he hasn't and that's my thing. <sighs> LeBron has this... not proved himself at all in any aspect of his NBA game. I say proved himself game. as a vengeance, though, because the man has proved himself, though, bro. No. No, bro, you have not. How is he not? No, you have not. How? How, Sway? Wha- how, Sway? Be- more- <laughs> <laughs> there are more negative, meg- negative film. Mm-hmm. There's more negative talk. There's, There's more negative highlights. More negative highlights. On your career, than it is anything positive, and at that, this. and uh, everything on that, <laughs> and anything on that, on your positive aspect, there's yeah. someone else involved yeah. in making it look better. Okay, you. Without that's the goal, issue, and this is why I always said he is only as good as, as maybe guy. a little bit better is than Charles Barkley. Oh. oh! You, Period. You haven't heard that comparison. I'm gonna <laughs> compare. I'm gonna <laughs> yeah, compare yeah. them two, and I'll forever compare them to mm. the same exact player. But yes, LeBron had a better supporting cast than Charles. LeBron had a longevity cast career mm. than Charles. But regardless, at yeah. the end of the day, yeah, they played the exact same way. Yeah, the exact same state of mind, the mm-hmm. exact same personality within there. You gave up at times. You did not want to drive it to the hole like you want. You needed to. Should have. Even though, even though, if Should've. you would have drove. Should have. There was nobody to stop you. Yeah. LeBron is yeah. such. That's no, one no, thing. I got about you. LeBron. LeBron. Yeah. And I'm going to give LeBron this. Mm-hmm. If you had that mental state of like a Michael Jordan. Yeah. You could have been. Yeah. Way more physical in general. You could have been phenomenal. Yeah. And it showed every single time you drove to the paint. And even in this this last game. Oh, yeah, especially. When you drove to the paint and you bodied everybody, they got out the fucking way. Mm-hmm. But you just gassed out, tired out. You couldn't do it no more because it caused too much energy. It's okay, Mihai. All right, listen, listen. It's okay. They, they're going to hate on it. I don't care. Because it's not the end of the. That's it's not done. The he's end done. Of it. He is not. done. Oh, he can add so many. My God, this guy is going to be able to add so many different players. It's, it's not, not going to matter. It's not the. End he's of done. It. He not. is formula. done. It's not. This exactly his formula. It's not. His formula has been discovered. No, it's not. Oh, oh, oh his formula has been discovered. The Lisper speaks. The Lisper touched him so hard trying to find a championship. Defend LeBron James. I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to defend him. Go ahead, man. Defend him. Go ahead. The best defense I could do as a lawyer for LeBron James. Thank you. It's done. <laughs> no. Lawyer up. LeBron James was studying for a role for his next big movie called Defense <laughs> <laughs> Now, um, what I've seen about LeBron James, and it's been every year for a long time now, is he hates to lose. Mm-hmm. I'll admit it. I've seen you it. You can say him. he's a poor loser. He's a poor loser. He is okay. the suckiest loser ever. I've if you look here. at the fact that when he was with the Cavs, <laughs> what happened when he was with the Cavs? He got rid of an entire bench of players that he brought in. Hell yeah, paid back. Brought in not only, not players. only, yeah, and then left him, and then left him after he got there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's true. Mm-hmm. So now he did that. He loses a few. He leaves. He joins LA. In LA, the first year he loses, even though I don't even think he made it to the playoffs in that year. He got injured. He got injured. Okay. Not the whole season though. Not the whole season. Pippen got injured. An entire season came back and still won the championship with the Bulls. So, to me it's this. If you can't handle a loss, then pretty much it's pretty much something I go through too because I can't handle the loss. Mm -hmm. We know that personally. Yeah. (laughs) So... Yeah, LeBron is always going to look for ways to win, and it happens with a lot of players, too. I mean, you're going to have the mega teams. The problem with LeBron is that for him to prove that he can be the great player he pro that he says he is, he has to win an NBA championship without <laughs> these great players. Mm-hmm. And before you say something, Pippen's scoring average oh. before he joined Jordan was very weak. Mm-hmm. 
when Jordan had that team that he had, they weren't all just traded in. Most of them were Pippen, all. Burned. Pippen came from the a trade. Yeah, no. From after the, being, uh, he got drafted by Chicago. Oh, no, he, but he that draft pick was Seattle. a trade. He got drafted to Seattle and then he got picked up into Chicago. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he sucked when he got in. Yes. That's why I'm like, everyone that keeps kind of talking about Pippen, y'all had to know Pippen actually wasn't as good as he was before Jordan started teaching him how to play better. The mental state. And you have to be the right person. But yeah, go ahead. All right. Mm-hmm. So in, in other words, is it's not who you are. It's how you drive your team that mm-hmm. matters. What your teammates are like. Yep. I've seen it. I've seen it in high school. I've seen it out there everywhere. The real true player is not going to walk away when his team is getting his ass beat. A true player is going to play until the end knowing I had to get these guys to know if we're losing, I'm going to take you over my back mm. and win it. Mm. Never done that. <clears throat> Never. And you want to talk because about... Because he shut himself down. All, every single time. He did it with the Cavs, which is why he went to Miami. He did it with the first year against with Miami, against Dallas. And at that, like, at the end, at the end of his Miami run, the last shot that he went against the Spurs, he did it again at that point, which then led him to Miami, back to Cleveland. Because he knew he wasn't going anywhere with it. He knew the vibe of the locker room was not going to be good. One more year with... Mario Chalmers and anybody else on the bench was going to ruin everything that in his mindset. So he was already pre-meditating where I'm going. So I hate to say, I hate to say it like this. And again, I'm not trying to instigate anything. But my question is, does that mean that with him knowing, does it mean that he is the poison or who's the poison in the locker room? He is the poison and he is the antidote to answer your question. What? Yes, because he came to LA. What? He came to LA. He didn't have to. He didn't, they didn't pick him up. They didn't draft him. He's not a fucking yeah. He came hey, there. He's a cyber yeah. scam. And going he's the poison in the and the same year he came there, who left? Magic Johnson. Yeah. And the, the LA native, a LA champion. He's the poison and the antidote. Dang. To answer your poison question. Poison and the antidote. Boom. Man. Drops Mike. Mm, next watch. series, <laughs> Fuck. next ring. It just, it just. It, <laughs> Hashtag stay now, woke. What's next for LeBron? Uh-huh. What's next? Uh, he, next ring. Simple. He's getting, he's getting a ring. He's going season ten. He's on getting the a shop, ring? and he's getting another ring oh. in L.A. He and you know what? Oh, and you know what? I'll dare to say he retires in Cleveland Cavaliers. I will dare to say that too. Wow! Hey, wow! He wow. Say retire That's a good bold Kevin. prediction. Because you know what? He's not. This is just part of. It's all part of the show. It's all part of. It's all part of being an athlete. It's all part of. Sir, look at Tom Brady. Tom Brady should have retired and fucking the Patriots. Look at him now. He won a ring in Tampa Bay at the next year. And, okay, maybe he wins another ring in Tampa. But again, and then, but again, and, and, then, and, and then look, then does he go back to like, oh, hey, Bill, let me uh, retire with you? Does he? No, because no, he doesn't he, have to. But, uh, but not, to to compare, not to compare. Not to compare the two. I'm sorry, not to compare the two. But he probably takes a year. But, but look, look, look it's just, yeah. two, just two different leagues, though. But I guess why I just say that no, maybe maybe I'm, LeBron retires. I'm not gonna even put it in the league perspective. Yeah, to, I'm gonna put it as two different mental states. Mm-hmm. Tom Brady's mental state is highly a lot fucking better than LeBron's mental state. Oh, okay. Okay. LeBron's right. mental state right. is so. Jacked up to where you are so into your emotions. It, it is, <laughs> it is though. though, and it is proven. And that's my issue with the NBA, bro. The man was oh. your your main NBA <laughs> player. I'm speaking to the mic deeply in this. Your NBA main player has walked out on five thousand different occasions. Before the game is finally finished, oh, fuck them. Who are they? And they're is fucking, so they're mad that he's me. lost. That he's, he's that they're he's okay. A he's a they're sport. okay with him walking out. He's a poor sport. But you made an issue when LeBron did it. When uh, Isaiah Thomas did it with the Pistons, you made an oh, issue. Nah. You made it an issue with the Lakers when the Lakers did it against the Pistons when the Pistons won in fucking nineteen ninety something. But they made it an issue. That's plain and simple. And that's so... Bro, no. Listen, I look at it this way. People know when they step on the court with LeBron that he's chauvinistic and he's an asshole. 
And if you're beating no, his ass, no, no, they no. know that. They already Everybody know. Everybody loves that guy. No, he's, no. He's no, such a no, high no, friend. No, no, I want to be your best friend. No, no. People outside yeah. of the NBA. You're great. You're awesome. It's just like Michael Jordan when he stepped on the court. Oh, he, he was a dick. dick. That's and the same thing as the... It's even the same then, shit. even then, the players always said he was a dick. So therefore, in and out. So therefore, NBA players know when they step on the court with LeBron, they don't have to fucking shake his hand at the NBA game. Yeah, they do. They don't. Why? Yeah, they do. Because he walks the fuck off. Why? Because they want they want a movie deal. Bro, why are they David Davis getting a movie deal? Why are they Low LeBron? Key? Why are they Anthony Davis getting a movie deal? Oh. They He's have to him. be he, nice. Why do you think Anthony Davis came on the shop? He came on the shop before he signed with LeBron. Because Stay he woke. That's because he wanted a big deal. And so what do I have to do? I gotta be nice to you. So when you step on the court with LeBron, what's up, man? Hey, how's it going, man? They gotta I be beat nice. Your ass, and what's he gonna they do? They gotta be nice. And then, and then when, when you beat his ass, do you have to shake his hand? Yeah. No, because he left the court already. Because he can't, that's what I'm saying. A, I said he's a poor loser. But that's, loser. Yeah, that, that's, that, that's what I'm saying. saying. I said he's a poor but loser. But that's what I mean. Why is, why is he's NBA? Yeah, boy, seven rings, I don't give a fuck, he's be my <laughs> Next subject. <laughs> How can you be Jordan after Jordan only played twelve seasons and still won six championships? Three after three. No, the goal. The goal is to surpass his rings. That's it. That's his goal. But he can't yeah. no more. I mean, even he's if he's done. Dead. No, he's not. He he's done. done. When his son, when his son comes into you the league, got, no. his son's gonna carry him to no, the. No, 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 that's no, the goal. No. That's how lazy LeBron no. is. <laughs> that's how he's like, yo, son, get that shit dunk, get that one. Hey, no, no, I'm a coach. I'm a coach. I'm a coach. Look, get you gonna get the N one pass to AD because he's still healthy, and then when he dunks, <laughs> we got the ring. Boom! <laughs> Fuck Curry. That's what he's gonna say. It's that's it. He might bring Curry into his team next year. That's what he wants to do. He, he wants to talk about. He wants somebody, and that's my issue with bro. He's surpassing Jordan. That's what. It, that's the sadness. No, it's, it's not. No, it's not the wow. ring. He's not surpassing Jordan, even if he gets the no. Ring. I'm not saying that he's, he's greater than him. Listen, no, no, listen. I mean, at this point, rings. at this point, look. He, even if he gets seven rings, even if he gets seven rings, cool. So he, he, surpa- he passes him. He surpasses him in the number. But at the end of the day, though, you gotta look at the record. Right. Exactly. Okay. okay. Right. And, yeah. And, so, yeah. And right. now let's now mm-hmm. let's look at it. Mm-hmm. And if you were to claim. Team mm-hmm. wise, mm-hmm. and then uh, the pic, then the other pictures are gonna be like this. He's gonna be like, <laughs> but then you have my <laughs> man, and then he's gonna have multiple jerseys. You, you have you have my guy who you still can compare to. I don't, I don't look. I don't. I'm not. I'm not for it. But you, I'm just. I'm just woke to the you, idea. You though. can't compare him though. To <laughs> I'm just woke to the idea. You, who who can you compare him to though? No, th- that's the idea. You can't after he gets him. all those rings. Who do you compare him to? You can't compare it to Kareem. I can tell you that. All right, Kareem, cool. Kareem, I say no more. Yeah, because Kareem's only get one off my team. court. Yeah. Get off my court. Exactly. <laughs> get off my and court. LeBron wouldn't need you to are sh- a poser. And LeBron wouldn't you are a poser, sir. You are a poser. And the get off my court. He's gonna be like on some John Cena shit. What <laughs> with the rings? <laughs> <laughs> to Jordan, maybe, but not to Kareem. To <laughs> all of them. Like, He's done. Because he has Bill Russell done. has eight. Bill the, Russell has eight. Okay. Okay. So the goal is to pass Jordan. Right. He has eight. So the goal Bill is to Carver pass has Jordan. 11. So the goal is to pass Jordan. The, the number, here's my thing. That's here's it. my the thing. The goal is here's to pass Jordan. In LeBron's perspective. So, okay, so let me ask you. So then, honestly, as a LeBron fan, as a LeBron fan, if he surpasses Jordan, does that then automatically make him the goal? No, because like you just justified it. There's still Kareem. There's still other people that are better than him. LeBron just wants to surpass Look, the nigga made a fucking Looney Tunes movie. <laughs> what is he trying to do? He's trying. He's trying to be better than Jordan. But the issue is, is that, dude, you are no longer better than Jordan. And you the, were no there's longer. There's a continuous debate. That is it. That is LeBron. You were, You lost. You lost that debate between you being better than Jordan once you got whooped and eliminated by yeah. Dallas Mavericks. Yeah. In the finals. Yeah. The man, you gotta think of this though. You were held to nine points by JJ. As soon as you Mm -hmm. lost in the finals, you were out of the conversation. Just think about LeBron's first L in his ever career (gasps) with the Cavs. He went down. Mental state. First first round. He hasn't lost that till win yesterday. Day before yesterday? No, he never lost the first round. He was 14 0. Yeah, 14 0. He was undefeated. No, okay. Yeah, yeah, first round. round. Okay, yeah. And the yeah, first round. So this is so he's this would have been this one. is his first loss in the first round. So that's Devin what Booker, it's Devin Booker he's did done. It. Devin Booker did it and Allen Iverson on the boy. He's not done. He's not done. He's done. Now yeah. all in all, I, yeah. what I gotta yeah. do, all in all, Listen, LeBron man, I'm, is I'm, done I'm gonna, lifestyle. I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna go on your side. 
The fact that we're not done about the conversation woke that he's not done. <laughs> <laughs> Continue on, That's please. A, at this point, actually, no, dude, mm-hmm. I agree with him. Exactly. At this point, I actually do agree with him. Right. Listen. Look at that. If, AD, it if AD stays healthy next year, they're going to go back. He doesn't because even. He, he can, he can, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Again, like I said, in this six game series, tell me one game where he had over 30 points. I'll wait for your answer. No, I was just saying, like, we're like, we were just justifying how he's going to sign Damon Curry. Like, he doesn't need AD. <laughs> but continue. No, he's going to need AD. Yeah, yeah, he's going to need AD. Continue. Because you mm-hmm. know why? Mm-hmm. Curry can't defend. So. <laughs> yeah, true. I put him up against Booker. Booker's yeah. gonna let that boy up all D- day. Dame yeah. can't defend that much either. So. That's why right. Booker's <laughs> yeah. gonna let that boy up all day. <laughs> uh, true, true. Uh, so once again, okay. if AD's healthy next year, yeah. it's a different conversation. And don't get me wrong, maybe LeBron puts up thirty finally. Yeah, hard maybe. <laughs> but at this point, though, dude, no, it's. I feel that if AD isn't healthy, mm. you're no longer worried about LeBron. You're not worried about AD's health. No, but the thing is, you have to. He's not. I think LeBron also knows that he's not a scorer either, though. He's way more. Well, here's my. He's more of a supporter player too. And he's going to train on that. This is my thing, this is my thing with shirt. LeBron. This yeah. is my thing with LeBron. You he can knows. sit there and a lot of people, a lot of uh, analysts would have to say, "Oh, he has to do a triple dub. He has to be a double yeah. dubber. He wants. He has to rebound because his players can't do it. No, it's Man, no. he doesn't have to. That's that's that, yeah. He does not have to be a double double. He doesn't have to be triple dub. He does not have to. That's why there is a center. That's why there is a power forward. That's why there is a freaking shooting guard. That's their job. Your job as a leader is to score the most. Plain and simple. Yeah. On your team. Be the leader of your team. Score. Tell them what to do when the rebound. Tell them where to be on on that and that defensive end. Yeah. That's your job. Not to sit there and do their work. Exactly. So you can come at me with other analysts can keep coming at me with with stats and say he's did this, he did that. His, his numbers are off the charts. The reason why the numbers are off the charts is because he forced himself to be concentrated too much on the numbers. Listen, you I'm concentrate not. on the numbers, which, yes, the more you concentrate on numbers, knowing that your longevity of your career, knowing that there's no one-in-year gap of suspension like what Michael Jordan was, mm-hmm. You're definitely going to surpass Michael Jordan. Yeah. Plain and simple. There's no in between. Though. But are you greater than him in the sense of being the leader and being the sense of a, a winner? No. He's, Never. He's, I, I, believe, I believe he still has to overcome it. I believe he still he has to He wants to overcome I, I a lot you, of things. I can tell you one thing. Unfortunately. He still has to overcome it. Listen. I, I, and this is unfortunately, man. This is gonna hurt you. I'm not hating on LeBron, dude. Again, like I said, the I man am. has incredible. I hate him too. I hate I him like that I love him. He's I a, hate that I love him. He's a little. <laughs> that, uh-huh. that, that man honestly yeah. is yeah. a very talented man. That man has done yeah. so much yes. with the NBA exactly. the outside of it. Outside, definitely. More hands down, athlete. way better, Looking way better than the Jordan. I'll put you that way better than Jordan Ooh. outside the ring. Oh, way better. Okay, the court. Yeah, court mm-hmm. But at this point, though, on the court, though, he's a bitch. <laughs> if you were to compare it, again, you probably have better stats than Jordan. At the end of the day, you're probably going to have better stats than him. Yeah. Heck, you're probably bigger than him. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, though, because of everything that's been against this man, yeah. he will never be surpassed Jordan. Never. He could win the rings. He could he oh, could beat well, the yeah, stats. Yeah, no. I mean, he, then, like, dude, like, no matter what the fans no, say, dude, bro, even, 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 even the lover boys... And the level girls yeah. of LeBron James, mm-hmm. they could defend him till they're blue in the face, but everyone's always going to say, "Tell me one time he took a playoff team and won the championship no. with how great I just, he was." Yeah, like, like, overall arguments aside, I just yo, know, he's not going to be a greater player than him. But I'm telling you, his goal is to get more rings than him. Mm-hmm. That's all because he feels. I mean, but he's not again. Because he feels I mean, that the biggest just argument is though, the biggest argument is fucking one on one situation, bro. Th- them niggas played way more harder. Oh, if, one on yeah. one, Jordan. If, if, the whole if era. it was, it was, if it's prime That's Jordan and debate. prime LeBron, one on one, I'm going Michael Jordan. They played way no. more, way more. I'm going Michael Jordan. I'm actually gonna go prime. I'm gonna go prime LeBron. Pippen would have fucking dunked on Bron's face and just. So, like, but that's it. Well, here's like, my yeah, here's bro. my here's my perspective on that. Here's my perspective on the whole yeah, LeBron yeah. versus Jordan <laughs> Jordan yeah, side. Bro, yeah. Is that a lot of people want to dis dis? I guess dishonest or um, not really acknowledge mm-hmm. that 
there's a difference between the 90s and the now era, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. They want to act like there's no difference. No, that it. whatever rules, Huge. whatever speculation is not there. Mm. I want to tell you lie. right now, that is a damn lie. Because in the if mentally, mentally in your mental mind, yeah. the punishment that you receive, yeah. the verbal abuse that you get, and the amount of freaking... I guess you would say the amount of pressure that you have is way more intense than it was then than it is now. Yeah. There's no shit talking. There's no physical abuse. Yeah. And there's so much you know. of convincing yourself that I'm better than you inside. More so than me telling you you're a piece of sh- like LeBron, like like Michael Jordan. There's now a viral footage of yeah, something going on well, now. You know what? Well, you don't even have to go with. You yeah. don't have to go there. Just look, go with Scottie Pippen with what he did to make Carl Malone miss two free throws no, no, in no. a clutch game six situation. Mm-hmm. Post Malone mm-hmm. deliver on Sunday. Not even baby. that. I feel like that's just the NBA situation on the '90s and the, the now era. Is we need to focus right now on these fucking flagrant fouls and these fouls that are going on right now. What do you mean? Because they're so bullshitting calling right now. Because we, as sitting here as all 90s NBA watchers, mm-hmm. these fucking files are getting really... I don't know if you guys have been watching Bitchy playoffs. Bitchy-assness. Bitch you assness. guys have been watching playoffs as long as I have, right? Yeah. As, as in this series, focusly. The, the, the call of flagrant files and non-flagrant and flagrant one and flagrant two type shit has really been spotty to where I'm looking at it as like... They're doing that shit right on time mm-hmm. for a tie game or ball back situation. Th- th- this is my thing. That's how I think the calls have gotten so out of line. I, th- no, this is what I'm seeing it yeah. as. It's not the fact that the calls are getting out of line. It's mm-hmm. the fact that they're deciding games. Mm-hmm. That's the issue that I have is that they're deciding games. Yeah. And before, you know what, man? I mean... It's before you weren't deciding a game on a foul. Mm-hmm. And you did LeBron play part of that? Yes, he did. Boom. Bitch, my job. I'm going to be. No, no, no. no. <laughs> saying he's dead. <laughs> hey, and one. He messed it all up. And LeBron flop? Hey. He messed it all up. He, yeah, he did the, the flop. So, I mean, that's all I had to say, man. I mean, at this point, it's it's the fact that they're now, can, like, t- like they're, they're, they're deciding games. Mm-hmm. And it's pretty much that the NBA just doing what the NBA has to do to keep people to watching. Mm-hmm. But I mean, though, at this point, it gives it it gives it the nail biter. It gives it, oh my goodness, you just came back from fifteen down in the fourth quarter with two minutes left in the game, and now you're you're tied. But look, the foul. Mm-hmm. I mean, every sport, every sport's doing it. The only one, that actually, believe it or not, the only one that is doing it is soccer. Ah, huh. nothing. It's ridiculous. Boxing, they're just not fighting. That's why. That's why they're not. That's why they have nothing exciting. But on, um, it, it's it's ridiculous. So. <sighs> well, I don't know what to say about. Yeah, LeBron. me neither. The future of LeBron is undetermined. We all know he wants to stick around for but sure to face against. One thing with I do the want to say is that with this and what happened recently in these game series with AD being gone, one thing I've always said and I proved is that LeBron couldn't do it on his own. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying, LeBron, dude. Th- this is my thing. Maybe because the fact LeBron is old. And I'll, I'll admit it, LeBron is no spring chicken. But this is the first time I've seen the fact that he's been held to less than 30 points in six straight games. Mm-hmm. And even when he said, I'm going to carry the team on my back. <laughs> Still, six straight games, he didn't score 30 points. I just stating facts, baby. All right. Now, <laughs> Devin Booker, I got to give it to you, Devin Booker, for sure. And my, and my, my, my words before I move on to the next. Fuck that moment, Devin Booker. <laughs> You are an an African American, Mexican American, and a Puerto Rican American raised here in the United States. I gotta mm-hmm. give it to you, Devin Booker, for your driven passion, for your love of the sport, yeah. and for the intensity that you brought the last five, the last minute and a half, brother. Gotta give it to you. I'm- you go in. You already know you're up by 15 points, 20 points, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, and you so. call for the alley oop. You slam it down. You hang on the rim for a little bit. And as you walk down to the halfway, halfway through the court, you look back at LeBron and say, What? 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 
as you keep walking towards the end and say, I thought so. I thought so. And then, then you make a little defensive play. You walk towards the Lakers bench. You do a Michael Jordan move. And you look over there and say, what's up? You little bitch. What's up? You got nothing. Can we talk about Jay Crowder? Yes. Yes. And the yes. salsa dance. Yes. Oh, yes. I will. And the yes. little salsa dance. Yes. Jay Crowder did at the end. He got a t- Look, again, with the Come fuck? on. He, got, he gets a T. He gets teed up for that? Mm-hmm. Like, what? Well, that's the thing. As soon as he knew he was going to get teed up, he but, dipped. He ran but the it. fouls, we're talking about. But just, I I love it, and I hate that they gave him a T, is what I hate. I mean, my like, th- my bitch, thing, like, what? I, I hate to say it, but it's like, come on, dude. You can't have some fun, but yet. Yeah. I hate I hate to say it. If the shoes run the other or if the shoes run the other athlete and then was LeBron, oh, he's just celebrating. Thank yeah, you. That's what I'm Thank saying. You. I agree. Would have been just celebrating. No, they what the fuck? No, no. So it's it's that was pretty awesome. So yeah. right then and there, after seeing that the, that little transition, in my mind, I knew Dev Booker is gonna be the future. <laughs> that <laughs> that is a Michael Jordan. Mental Boy. state, brother. Boy. Actually, that's more black mama, but uh, but I mean, I agree because he learned that from him. But no. then again, look, no. my mama no. learned no, that no, no, from no. MJ. Yes, no, let's let's. Okay, are, are, did you did you have your opinion on this? So yes, I, I, uh, that's right. I was just not mentioning Major Booker. Phoenix Suns, dude. Honestly, okay. they're going for good. I think they got a good chance. I definitely got my opinion on Nate. I got them winning the second round. <clears throat> I don't see they getting far, dude. I don't see them getting far. Yeah. Okay. That's it. I mean, if they go to the finals, they're gonna lose. Mm. They said they're gonna pass Brooklyn. Yeah. I just want. I just want to look. I just want to be the first. Yeah. I just. My my, be. my would point out the fact that Brooklyn won today without Harden. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Fucking first. He went out the first. What two minutes? A minute. The so first. the moment he if he comes back by the finals and he's healthy, believe me, that man's gonna be hungry. Yeah. That man's gonna get W this year. My thing is. To the opposite end of the series is I am very proud of the Phoenix Suns. Yeah, they did the thing. I like the rivalry. You know, technically it was a rivalry going into Mm -hmm. the finals. Phoenix Suns, Lakers. So, that being said, they did their thing. Um, They wouldn't have got as far as they gotten without Chris Paul. Simple period statement ended. And they wouldn't have done that shit. And they wouldn't have got as far as he is without him being a crybaby as well. Mm -hmm. And who outcried who? Chris Paul got, yeah, he got as far as he did. Booker is a shooter. Booker is a shooter with Chris Paul throwing him the ball. Yep. He needs Chris Paul. The Phoenix Suns need Chris Paul. The center. What's the dude's name? The center of the Phoenix Suns I center? Had, I know. I know it. Something. A something. Amid. Tall as fuck. No, Aiden. Tall as fuck. Number yes, seven. I agree. <laughs> they need I agree. him. They need him. If Chris Paul came in that series knowing how to throw a lob as well as he knew how to throw a lob, hmm, I would get a dunk over AD too. So they did their thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think, honestly, Chris Paul's defense is very well. I don't think that as a short person like that, there's really not too many people that can annoy and, Le- and, and besides Curry that can annoy and bother LeBron with the ball. He did. You notice when they match yeah. each other, LeBron quickly threw that shit away. Yeah, that's true. Instantly. Instantly threw it away. Because and I think that Curry's defense is getting better on LeBron because he, he same thing when he, when he when he gets that yeah. single matchup lately. Again, yeah. quick again, quick dish. This, yeah. this is an older LeBron you're talking about. Exactly. So let's now, let's, now <clears throat> let's put him. Now let's put him. Against We're talking about the Phoenix Suns. We're talking about the Phoenix Suns. Let's put him against the James Harden. Okay, cool. We're not even there. He's not relevant. It's not even relevant. Doesn't matter though. But exactly. Still, still exactly. Not, you know what? Either. Even a Kyrie. It has happened many times. Over the no, day. they play <laughs> together. They got a ring together. They got a ring together. They, they're going to help each other out. Nah, nah that's, that's, that's stable. All oh, uh, <laughs> And we're Phoenix Suns, we're good. We're going to figure out and what's next, yes. okay? Yes. But yes. it's been interesting. First yes. game, this game right now is coming up today with the Clippers Phoenix versus Suns are definitely Dallas. Far. So we'll see. That's not sure. No. Uh, that's pretty much concludes the NBA stuff. We did soccer already. UFC 263 comes up June 12th at 9 p.m. I'm predicting it already. Of what? Suns and Nets. Oh, okay. What are you doing? Championship. Suns versus the Nets. Damn. Oh, wait, yeah, Georgia? And who you got? Uh-huh. Who you got? At the end? What? Nets. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, fair enough. Nets what? You, what you, game sweep or no, game seven? No, they're going to go seven. NBA is going to push seven on that one. I got six. 
You got Phoenix? I don't even I got, Nets. I don't even got Phoenix. Nets four. I don't even got Phoenix. I got Philly in... Uh... You got Philly? <clears throat> is that Philly? But Ben Simmons will catch you with three to save life? Nah, no, Beats coming back. The Beats coming back. Still no. Ben Simmons will catch you with three to save life? Really? Huh? That's mm-hmm. a lot of confidence. Uh, uh Philly and uh, who, 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 who? Damn. Man's what, man, where shoot is leaving? Who, who am I looking at the other end now? I'm, I'm, I'm drawing a blank now. Hold on. Uh, well, uh, Philly and who? You know what, man? It would be <laughs> who's coming. Up? You know what, man? If Luca, if Luca, he's been Luca. Luca may actually bounce the Suns. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to hold on. Let me. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to we'll blank see. on. I'm trying to blank on who I mean. But that's that's where we would go with that. I don't know. I think that's good. Um. Yeah, UFC two oh, sixty three in the Jazz. <clears throat> oh yeah. There you go. Yeah, seventy six is in the Jazz. Donovan that's Mitchell. Good. Donovan then Mitchell. I got Jazz. Donovan Mitchell. Clean sweep. Ooh. <laughs> but, yeah. Donovan Mitchell. Okay, go ahead, Tony. Sorry. Mm, no, it's fine. UFC <laughs> 267. 260. All right, guys. Oh. The final, find the end of the show. Pretty much the last segment of the day. UFC 263, June 12th at 9 p.m. is coming up before we move on. Mm. Uh, now, UFC 263. Headliner. Israel Adonis here makes a return back after losing against John mm-hmm. for the light heavyweight title. Don't gamble, kids. Versus Marvin Vittor- Vittori. <laughs> Let's not forget one thing, though. Huh? Uh, Liz Ferrari selected Jan to that fight because of the fact that they share the same name as Jan. Uh, yeah, I know, right? That's true. He did end up picking him. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> Director RJ picked Jan to win that fight. Because they share the name of Jan. Right? Yes. <laughs> That's pretty funny. So, again, again. 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 <laughs> that is their main event. Again, now, who do we have going on the main event, Israel or Marvin? I go Israel. 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 What's his name again? Israel or Marvin. What's his first name? Marvin or Israel. That's why no, no, no. I just that stated. None of them no, are named yeah. Marvin's <laughs> first name is what he's asking. Marvin. That is Marvin's first name is first name. Marvin. Wait, 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 wait. I'm confused now. Wait. He mentioned mentioned Yan from the, the last good, fight that Israel fought against. And for this oh. man over here who gets easily confused, Yan is not a part of this fight. Oh, it's okay. either Israel or Marvin. No. And Yan lost it last time? No, Yan won the Yon last time. Won. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Jesus. And now I'm on the same page with y'all. Please, okay. please, please pray for me. Because <laughs> I was trying to just fight for you, bro. And then you okay. sound oh, okay. Help me. Okay. Help me, super please. Lost. Okay. All right, yeah. All right, I'll go yes. with uh, the guy that lost to y'all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He has to redeem The himself. champion. The Looking champion. To John, Israel. It happens, you know. It, it's it right. to redeem. Same as Jan. Every time somebody loses to Jan, you have to redeem yourself. Okay. Listen here, mm-hmm. Listen here Jan. Right. You yeah. lost to Jan. You got to come Seems back. Seems like it. Win, <laughs> now, <laughs> yeah, the co main event we have on the card <laughs> is a flyweight, med- a flyweight wow. title. Mm. Uh, ah, damn it. That, sorry, dude. I don't know your name. I'm not very good at this. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna jack the Tony the Butcher. Tony the Kid. He said they know this. Tony the name Butcher. I'm telling you, that's what I'm, I'm the, sticking with it. The Vision Figaro Figurado. Mm. Let me see. Tell me, tell me. Figurado. Mm. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm surprised, I'm, su- I'm surprised they didn't say Figaro. <laughs> the Vinson Figur. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, name butcher to the max. Hey, 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 he's in drink, so yeah. He's no, a- no, just I, know, I want him. I want him. <laughs> <laughs> he called the full verse before I did. Go ahead, man. Oh, he can't read it. He don't know how to pronounce it. He don't speak Spanish. That's what it is. Oh, okay, Davidson Figueredo. Oh, oh, sure, God sure. Damn. The one time I need you to speak properly, you do. He said it right. You Davidson Figueredo. That's a director for you. Davidson That's Figueredo. right. Mm-hmm. You know why I said it right? Because I'm a director. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, yes. Director. That guy. But versus... you can't keep up with the whole thing. Show me your hands on it. Right? <laughs> I can't even keep up with what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm not even asking you. I'm not the truth. I'm not even the truth. He, he got hit with that. What? I just threw my hand. I threw my hand in the bucket. What? <laughs> I was just taking off my hat. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
Look at me. First thing I told him, first, this is last thing. I'm going to go on a rant. I'm going to rant on the, on the so list funny. over here. It's my so rant is going to be this. I just, my, all my, I heard was Jackie of uh, Rush Hour. <laughs> Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Don't understand the words that are coming out of my mouth. The only rant I'm going about the list for this past ridiculous. week was. I literally said LeBron has one year left on his contract. <laughs> hey guys, how many how many more years does LeBron have on his contract? He has one more year. Bad that J. Hey man, director got the name right. All right, that's good. All right. That's one thing he's done right this whole week. So oh, yes, okay. so, so, so oh, Davidson is going against mm. Brett Davidson is going against Brandon <laughs> Mor- Morano. Moreno, 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 uh, for the for the flyweight title, which in my mind I got, uh, uh, whatever they got, Davison, the champion. I got the champ winning this one. I got the champ. Oh, defending, definitely defending champ. Yeah, yes. yeah. If Anthony got his name wrong, might as well go for him too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, no, I'm used no. to him getting the name Thank wrong, you, but exactly. I don't know what we're talking about. The weird part is that every time he gets the name wrong, at the guy, he wins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, afterwards, or before that, we also got a welterweight fight happening. The return of Nate Diaz versus Leon Edwards. He sucks, too. I got got Leon. Got Nate. Got Nate? I got Nate. Very good. Zach Mac, we got Nate or Leon. Tony, uh, sidebar, are we watching this fight together? Can we? Oh, I actually would like to watch this fight. This is next can... week. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. yeah, we'll have it up and watch we record. Okay. I got. I got. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if Nate oh, has it. In him. I don't know. Okay, I you don't do know. all that chit chat, and you know. I, 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 I guess I. I guess I got Nate. I'm not very confident. <laughs> I guess I got Nate, but I'm not very confident. I, I don't know how to do my hands. Oh. Direct. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Go ahead, Jordan. <laughs> who do you got? So I've seen Nate fight. I know how Nate fights. I've never seen the other guy. I don't know who the other guy is. I've never heard of the other guy. Mm-hmm. Does he have punching power? Listen, power? don't do, do, do this because by next week he's going to forget. So. <laughs> Um, right, tomorrow he's gonna forget. Right. Okay, so if he's for Gitball, I'm gonna go for the Diaz guy because at least yeah, I know who he is. Yeah, we're talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> Put your head down. It's nap time. Just put your head down. It's nap time. It. Finish strong. Finish just, strong. Just remove the mic. Put your Finish head down. Strong. It's time. Finish strong. Finish strong. I got this. I can do it. So Nate is gonna win because I know who he is. Here, simple. See. Wow, what does really? that even mean? Don't mean I don't know the other oh, guy. I don't know fine. I don't know if he can handle the beating he's going to take. Or does he give a beating? Then what happens, you know? I don't know, but whatever it is, okay, it's going to be that. interesting. Okay. So, that, all, in all, all in all, that's our UFC 263. What? I don't think we have anybody else left on the card or any other topic to discuss. Mm-hmm. NFL is just training camps at the moment right now. Yeah. A lot of good stuff. No trade. Oh, SG, no oh, let's talk no about cuts. how SG3 got a freaking field jersey already. Oh, I that's true. SG3, congratulations on the, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, on the Justin Fields hey, Chicago listen, Bears listen, jersey. Listen, jersey. For, for, he everybody, for everybody. He, just, he got one. I don't, I, for everybody that sits here and says that they want to wait for him to see what he's going to do. The main reason why I did it was because the Bears made history. Mm-hmm. For yeah, me, it's like facts. you know what, man. I want to have Mad respect. I want to have the player for the rip, for the history, not for what he does on the field. I don't care, dude. The guy could have the worst season, and everyone could be burning that jersey. But for me, I'm gonna say, you know what, man. SG three. Say why. Right. Say why it's so inspirational. That is the first black quarterback that the Chicago Bears have ever drafted. Mm-hmm. Second quarterback in history that the Bears have had. Me, first one was play. Cordell Stewart. Second one though is him. Unfortunately, the Cordell Stewart passed his prime. Yes. Beautiful movement. Beautiful movement for Chicago. So I have nothing else to say. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. Well, that I guess that concludes our M- not NBA, our rejects in the booth segment. Mm-hmm. Totally appreciate you guys for joining us today for sure. Tony the kid. Uh you guys be good, be safe, uh live prosper. As far as where to search us up, rejects.com. You'll find us up for sure. At excuse me, rejects on Google. If you look it up, reject.com, you'll see it's there for sure. Reject underscore rundown in uh, Snapchat. There you go. Thank you very much.
We got Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, YouTube as well. On, all on Twitter. Follow Google. On Twitter. We're, we're on TikTok. We're even on Apple Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts, Google Podcasts. Google Podcasts. We out there. We definitely out there. One more time to Miss Josephine. So thank you. Happy birthday. Sorry about LeBron. Yes. Maybe next year. Yeah. Um, maybe, maybe not. One more time. More than likely not. I'm just saying. Like I told you before, I'll tell you again. Huh? Did he lose on her birthday? Uh, he lost no. Her after her birthday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Don't so, remind her directly. So sorry for your, uh, <laughs> <laughs> your horrible <laughs> present. I mean, on my birthday, I watched somebody lose that I was big fan of. I can't remember who. Mm-mm. My birthday was in the night. No, 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 That's it. Not not that's it. We don't need more. It's okay. Oh, Sam, that's right. Nick Foley got his ear turned off. Oh, that way. On my birthday. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Zach the Mac, go ahead and say oh, your final say thoughts. thoughts. Uh, <sighs> it is the deep final thoughts. Thank you, Tony, for calling me out because, you know, this is kind of serious. Uh, Laker fans, listen, it's not the end of the world, okay? Mm-hmm. LeBron yeah. fans, it's definitely not the end of the world. Yes, it is. It's definitely not. It definitely is. We have we have uh, we have a lot of time. <laughs> we have a lot. You know what? The haters are gonna hate, and the Go haters ahead. are gonna ain't. Okay, and prospering is just I don't care. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> <talk about that. laughs> like a nation. Ah, oh, run, run. Really. But yes, all Best in all, three. take it out. So oh. guys, I'm gonna be putting my hands just like Zachary Zachary and the <laughs> 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 yeah. I want to say it was a very fantastic show. We appreciate you very much. Fucking Lakers, Follow bro. us. The fucking <laughs> Follow crazy, us on bro. the Twitter. Can follow we name us. the show? Fucking Lakers. Can you follow follow no, us no. on crazy, the, the, the Facebook and the Instagram. Yeah, exactly. You me. know, we appreciate no. y'all very much. Also, no, follow us on the Snapchat. The so chat of the snap with the reject <laughs> underscore rundown. Once again, reject underscore rundown. We appreciate y'all very much. Thank you for the love. <laughs> yes. Y'all take yeah, it easy. <laughs> take yeah, it easy. Have a good night. We'll see y'all later. What? I decided no one can. You already moved on from there, man. What? I got you. Listen. Listen. I got you. Uh, right. take, take this out. Listen. No, no you like put it. You moved no. over. What? No. Yes. no. Repeat it, John. If you have something to say, direct RJ. Go ahead. Yeah, this show is brought to you by RWA. Oh my! You right had now. to wait until <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. Part. Please well, yeah, have a good away. night. Y'all take care. it easy. I'm going to end the show before y'all get a headache like I do. Y'all be good. Okay, cool. Ciao for now. That was one of the longest.